Welcome everybody to this thing. To this thing. It's Tom and Ben. Tom and Ben. You can all stop clapping now. We're you, back. You can now stop clapping. Very good. Well done. Uh, Tom has holes in his shirt. Yeah, I do. You can see th straight through. Oh. Holes in my bod. Hot um, bod holes. Uh, oh, that sounds weird. Hot like bod it. holes? Yeah. You can have a go on my hot bod holes, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you put your hand behind me... Whoop. Oh, wait, no, that's... There's my hand. Uh, I'm going to poke it. poke you through the holes. Oh, man. Please. Oh. <laughs> anyway, just to really just set the tone of mm. how this whole fucking thing is going to go. I've got mega loud music. I've got mega loud music. I don't know about the stream. Okay. Oh, God, that got louder. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, TJ. Wait. Ah! <laughs> You're fading into the void, Tom. God, those, um, okay, a thousand points to whoever can remember the name of the disease mm -hmm. that was in Judge Dredd, where, um, it's almost like, almost like kind of like puzzle pieces kind of like disappear from your body. Like a big, wow. like, chunk will disappear, but like your forearm could disappear, but your hand is still connected. And then it just keeps going until you disappear okay. and you turn into like a ghost. Jigsawitis. Uh, something like that, but it wasn't a, a a puzzle piece. Was it just jigsaw syndrome? I don't know. Because it wasn't like a puzzle piece. It was kind of like blocks. That sounds like a Judge Dredd thing. Jigsaw syndrome. Maybe not. Um, 2000 AD. Oh. Jigsaw Man. With it, look there. These are the dudes. Like, oh, that's horrible. Maybe it's just the jigsaw man. Maybe it was jigsaw actors. He's got like sexy pants on, but yeah, I that's... think it's fine. Main screen, activate. Main screen, turn on. No, it's main screen. Go. <laughs> uh, mm. Maybe it was jigsaw actors. This looks horrible. I don't want it. So, does that part of your body stop existing, or can you just like see through it? It's cut, it stops existing, but it is still there because, like his leg, he can still walk, but just right. a chunk is gone. Do you, does more of you go, or is he just this is how he is now? Oh, uh, yeah, it ke keeps going until until you you've stop existing. But you are still sort of there, right? If your whole body's got jigsawed, yeah, but you would actually still be there, but you couldn't touch or be seen exactly. But maybe you could still see, you're in like the nether realm. Oh, like a ghost. You'd basically be a ghost, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I forgot how small their little teeny guns are in the in the comics. Yeah, but they, pu they pack a punch, Ben. Yeah. They've got the hot shot. I was watching a video about um, uh, sci-fi guns. Oh, yeah? A YouTube video. What's the best sci-fi gun? Um, well, God, like, you know, you just... Just, there'll be a, a sci-fi with just the Doomsday pistol. Oh, the, yeah, the mega gun that kills everything automatically. Um, What's your favorite? Th so, of the ones, the alien pulse rifle, they were like, this thing is mm. fucking insane. Mm -hmm. um, that it has, what, like how many rounds in the clip? Like fucking 50? 99 or 99. something. 99. It's, it? it's, it's a lot of bullets. Mm. Um, but like there are, at some point, there are stats somewhere about the gun. Mm -hmm. the, it fires... A lot of rounds a second. And each one is a mega uranium depleted supercharged yeah, shot or and each, something. Each one hits with like the force of like an elephant gun. <laughs> but because it has, I don't know, a thing where it was like this thing would punch through power armor. It is so much better than like a bolt gun. Wow. Um, and they're like, this is for a realistic mm -hmm. sci fi gun. Even though you couldn't make it because mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a propellant that could yeah. fire a bullet that. Okay, but just Fast. based on its in-universe stats. Yeah, they were like, this thing is actually like 
pretty little. Isn't the smart gun even better? Like, because it's got like a, it's bigger. It's yeah. got like a bionic arm thing that holds it up. That thing is really cool. And in the old computer games, it used to just auto track. It had like yeah. an aimbot built. Yeah, yeah, like it would move like your reticule. I um, mm. really, really liked it. And uh, when like sometimes you see those. Um, they're like camera rigs. Mm -hmm. It's fun to pretend like you've got a smart gun instead. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh. And so yeah, mm. so, thank you for coming to my Tom Talk. Tom Talk. I have to look it up now. Uh, aliens pulse rifle. I mean that's why Tower Strength Five, right? They got pulse rifles. This thing super rad. I mean, it just looks pretty fucking cool as it well. It just looks it? amazing, doesn't it? It makes a cool noise. Yeah, it sounds cool. It looks cool. It's got a grenade. Oh. Uh, you can duct tape a flamethrower to it. Yeah. But then again, you know, like this keyboard, <laughs> I could duct tape a flamethrower to this. I've never seen it done, so I don't think it's possible. Someone must have. <laughs> Although I guess like some of the keys are always going to be pressed then, and so you try and send an email, and it's just like, and you're like, no! <laughs> Oh, fuck! I just tried to delete! <laughs> Nightmare. Ah. But isn't there like a yeah. like a Nerf gun that just looks exactly like that fucking thing? This one? Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's kind of like some hazard stripes. Always a good look. It's great, but, you know, like repainting that to be, um, be a thing. Let's do it. I'm on board. Any other cool sci-fi guns? Mm. No, actually, it turns out none of the other ones are cool. Oh, and anyone what? who was like, oh, I like that gun. No, you're wrong. Oh, none of the other wow. ones are cool. The official verdict. It's in. The gristle gun, Existence. We were looking at that <laughs> we last week. We literally were, were <laughs> weren't we? The noisy cricket. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but... It's a one-note joke, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the discs. Is that. that a gun? Well, I guess this is weapons. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, gristle gun, gross. Gross. Oh, yeah, the head bomb. Two inks. Pretty good. Although, like, how does he fit anything in there? Do you remember when the tube comes out of the side of the ear? Yeah. And it's like, where's his head? <laughs> it's like telescopic. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, I, I never thought much of the Blade Runner gun. No. I don't think that's cool. No, seeing as Harrison Ford, like, his Han Solo pistol looks fucking rad. Yeah, it's, like, iconic, like right? The, like the Mauser mm. like, thing. Wait, is it Mauser or is it a Luger? No, it's a Mauser. I think it's a Mauser, with, but with like a scope on top. Yeah, they they kind of greebled it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, but that thing was uh, a cool cool pistol. Yeah. I mean, Robocop's gun's pretty cool. It's the Beretta, like... right? Uh, some kind of Beretta? Is it? I didn't even think it was like a real gun. I, I thought, thought it... they did call it like a thing. Oh. Because I felt like it was like basically a Desert Eagle that fires bursts. Yeah, the burst fire. <laughs> Great for fucking shooting dicks off. So um, many dicks. Man, you do that's like just you don't want to be here in the fucking the Jeepers with a. Do you remember when they did that remake? Where it's just fan everyone remake. with their dicks getting shot off. It was so good. I, we can't show that. We can't show that clip. But if you ever want to <laughs> see something that's not usual. You can watch the R Robocop remake where like 50 different teams of filmmakers and animators all took like a scene from the film each yeah. and made it in their own way and you can put them all together to make the whole movie as if it was made by 50 insane people. It's really good. And um, that one scene I was not expecting. <laughs> was the best, the best scene. Because it just keeps going. <laughs> 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 But it just doesn't stop being funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got to check that one out. Um, Very good. Oh, Pulse Rifle. I need at number four, Tom, technically. Wow. wow. Do they not know that it fires de depleted cased uranium hard point tips? Yeah, well. But they only have the just the Pulse Rifle. They don't have the flamethrower. Uh, that's going to be number one. Take dodge <laughs> the combi, combi motion. I mean, Proton Pack is cooler. It's got a backpack. Is it cooler? It's not better. It's cooler. I don't know if it is cool. I do like the flashy lights. It's got like, you know, lightning around the lightning that spins around. Yeah, but they have like one rule of like, don't cross the beams. And then they cross the beams and it actually all works. So good times. Yeah, it turns out they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no, Proton Pack is kind of kind of. Cool. It makes a cool noise when you turn yeah, it on. Yeah, and I like that it's kind of like a bit drippy as mm. they fire it. That's like a nice... 
Nice stuff. I'm, in, I'm into it. I like Pro. You gotta arc it. You can't just zap it at something. You know, it's kind of out of control. I feel like the Proton Pack would actually be pretty legit versus a Xenomorph as well. Yeah, because it just kind of arcs. And it always seems to find its target, no matter yeah. how you aim. It's like sentient. Ooh. <laughs> wow. They were the ghosts all along. Proton Packs don't even kill anything. Well, you never saw them shoot it at a person. You see them shoot it at like a library cart, and that thing fucking that, explodes. Yeah, holy shit. It definitely... I think it would pop a person immediately. Oh my god, like the injuries. <sighs> Nightmare. You're getting burned, if nothing else. I think it'd be really bad. Yeah, it probably does give you super cancer. That's why they wear these lead-lined suits while... <laughs> okay, <laughs> while nice. carrying them. That's why they're so out of breath jogging up the stairs. Yeah. At the end. Yeah, yeah, because... You know, lead. Lead suits. Uh, okay. Uh, Star Trek phases? Fuck off. At least they chose the slightly cooler one. The next gen ones are the shittest. Who thinks that's the coolest? No one does. I mean, every scene where they fight in next gen, it's just them standing there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> like TV remote. Yeah. Yeah, it's so lame. Pew, pew. Do you remember when they had the really small one? Um, it looked even shitter. Oh. Star Trek small phaser. Um, it's like it's like a little fucking key fob. Oh. Beep boop. <laughs> they're trying to like it's like they're looking for their car in the car God, park. You gotta be careful. Like you're trying to get into your car and you just fucking phaser a hole through the door. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, wrong bipper. I oh, guess. Oh shit. <laughs> I hate it. It's like the the lamest sci-fi weapon of all time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Set garage door opener to stun. Yeah, I guess like you know, it kind of changes the tone of. Star Trek a little bit. If they're like, okay, we've got to go down to the planet. Everyone get your pulse rifles out. <laughs> yeah. uh, when they start shooting and just people just exploding. Uh, That's true. Maybe um, a little. But then they do later decide to like make a big long phaser. I always thought that this was like a um, you know, like a wee, wee attachment. Yeah, it's like they just stuck a stock onto a they phaser. They just plug the phaser in because yeah. they're like, well, some people want to hold a bigger bigger gun. Yeah. Is it just for for looking more intimidating? Do you I think, think it's got so. no extra like batteries in it or anything? No, no, no. It's that. Oh, wow. Uh, what was the gun that Guinan has? Did she have a gun? Yeah. I thought she just had like... Fucking wee -oo, no. Kung Fu powers. There's the episode. Which one is it? People are kicking off, and she gets out a fucking gun and shoots the ceiling with it. How do you spell Guinan? Yeah, there she is. Gu Guinan. Star Trek. Uh, just gun Guinan. Boom. Oh, fuck. I don't remember this episode. And she fires it into the ceiling and, like, stuff falls down. <laughs> like, I feel like firing. Mega Blaster. <laughs> it's gold. That's going to get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. On a spaceship. I don't think you're supposed to be firing too many... Uh... No, don't blow a hole in the roof, Guinan. Jeez. Holy uh, shit. The Magnus Three energy weapon, apparently. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Someone's told me to look up the DS9 transporter rifle. Do you remember... Th You've never seen DS9, right? There's a whole plot where someone assassinates someone by using a teleporting sniper rifle like you can see through the, to the other side of the space station because he's got like a see-through wall scope okay and then he fires it at oh them. like an eraser like an eraser but the, the bullet starts firing and then gets transported like with the teleporter to like right next to them it totally breaks the universe and um, you shouldn't really be allowed it's total bullshit okay well, there you go so you can see through walls and it's got a little transporter in it and it's just like, why? How? What? So now anyone can die at any time from anything? God, they really like up the stakes to a uh, <laughs> pretty high level. Fucking bullshit. I was hoping that it was like you shoot someone with a little thing and then it just teleports them like oh. 500 meters up. Well, that would and work. They're just outside of the spaceship. Just. It's the Chief O'Brien variant. Yeah, 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 which uh, I think would be more, more fun. That is more fun. Yeah, just tag them with a little transporter thingy. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, so what's number one? It's going to be Han Solo's pistol, surely. Oh, so lightsaber. Is, I mean, yeah, fair enough. They are the most iconic sci-fi weapon, aren't they? They've, they've kind of been played out now, though. <laughs> like, I've been overexposed to lightsabers now, I think. Yeah. Um, can you name someone that uses an orange lightsaber, Ben? Yes. Pullo from Rome. Does he? You know, Titus Pullo. He died recently. He did. Fucking rest sad. in peace. Ray Stevenson. He was a cool dude. I liked him in all the things he was in. He wasn't in enough stuff. He, he died really saber? young. Who was he? He's in a new thing. Um, it's not out yet, but it's in the trailer. Here he is. Oh. Who's... Oh, God. He looks fucking amazing. Yeah, he's a cool dude. It's not out yet, but I, I'm excited to see what he's up to. Kind of orange. It's definitely orange. It's not red, is it? Well, Yaddle has one. <laughs> Does she? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to take the wind out of your cool orange lightsaber fact. How do you know? Or maybe it's yellow. <laughs> Yaddle lightsaber. lightsaber. I need to. Is it in that cartoon that I haven't seen? Yaddle. Wow. These all just look like Photoshops, though. Is it actually canon? Uh, somewhere it's canon. Because uh, I want green. <laughs> it's just such a fucking puppet, isn't it? <laughs> Here, look. Which Jedi uses an orange lightsaber? They wouldn't lie in this picture. Someone's well, that drawn that there. handle doesn't even look real. That's so yeah, clearly photoshopped yeah, in. Like, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was said somewhere. I saw all... It was on like a YouTube short or something. And it was talking uh, about how Yaddle. It was talking about orange lightsabers and how it was like Plo Koon, Yaddle, and someone else have orange lightsabers. This just kind of looks like they're holding glow sticks at a rave. It does look like the lamest rave ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed this guy with long neck doesn't ever decapitate himself with a lightsaber doing all them flips. Yeah, I don't know how many flips that guy's doing. <laughs> yeah. uh. There was, um, who else had orange? Someone in uh, Old Republic has orange, don't they? Probably. Or is it yellow? I don't know. What's Ray's one at the end is yellow or orange? I can't remember. Is it? But it's on Tatooine, so it's kind of hard to tell because the sun's setting. It's sand. Right, turns it on. And dust. Um... Uh. Have you seen those things where you can make your own, make your own lightsaber with all the like the bits? No. Well, that's the how you become a Jedi. I kind of want to do it. But is like, it like Build a Bear? It's like Build a Bear, but <laughs> <laughs> for sweaty nerds. Yeah, that's me. And um... ultra sabers. Do you get? Is it just like when you play? Um, what's it called? That. Jedi Dark Souls, where you're like, oh, sweet, I found a little screw to put on yeah, my lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, and you choose the, you want the top and the middle and then the next bit. And then 90% uh, of it cover, gets covered up by your big fucking meat hand. <laughs> and you barely are <laughs> fucking ever looking at it. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, wow. All the options. Like, I, on the emitters, mm -hmm. I always like the really... I don't like these, like, clawy ones. No, what kind of fucking nerd has that? I want this kind of lightsaber emitter. I don't have a, a really fucking good one that I'm after. Hmm. Uh, I like the really silly... I, I, of course I do. Of I course like the... Do you want the, the claw one? The black, it, the so knife? it's a, like a little axe? Yeah, this one looks like it's probably got a bottle opener hidden on it somewhere. Okay, that's kind of fun. Um, petition for me to dress up as Yaddle for next week's stream. I don't have a, a lot of time to 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 get that together. That's quite a look. It might take a while. Yeah. I don't know if uh, what I do with the the beard. <laughs> You've just got to work it into the hair somehow. Pommels. Can you get like a spiky pommel? <laughs> you know, for bopping people. Oh, like a little stabber. Yeah. Okay, that'd be pretty good. Well, these are all the same. I guess they've got to let the noises out. That's why they've all got holes in the bed. the gas. Oh. Does the lightsabers fart? Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? Yeah. Gross. Yeah, they do. 
Um, complete hilts. Initiate. Oh, these are way too sleek. You want it to be all fucking greebled. Yeah, I want mine a bit a bit jazzier. Like this looks like it came out of a factory, and all the lightsabers in like the originals look like they've been hand built by. Yeah, people, right? exactly. Oh. Oh, Tom, you've destroyed everything. I've destroyed everything. Um, oh, do you want? Here you go. Look, you can have like a fucking like truncheon. A uh, <laughs> why? Is, why is he? What? That can't be practical or helpful. No, I'm okay. It's just there's a low hanging wire, and I fidget a lot, and I often kick it. Uh, it's fine. Cool. I'll just try and not fidget as much. This I don't want. Cannot that. be cool. I don't right? want that thing at all. What? What kind of fighting style could possibly benefit? Why don't they do nunchuck lightsabers? Ooh, what, which part would be, what, the chain is a lightsaber? That's a lightsaber, and it's two lightsabers, both coming out, and you're just... Okay, so it's like a Darth Maul, but flexible in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine it's like got that electricity that holds a pod racer together. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm into that. Uh, because that exists. Yep, and it apparently numbs your face if you mm. stick your face into it. You get yeah, which is better, because then you can use that to like numb someone's <laughs> face or numb their hand if you want to restrain them. Yeah, okay, nice. Because you don't always want to fucking chop a hand off. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, isn't that why you become a Jedi? Sure. Hand chopping. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah, you're going to play that game of like, do I lose my hand today or do you lose yours? Whoa. Oh, oh. Trying to live chat us. Okay. Um, why? <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. Why is there a ton for lightsaber? It's weird. No, just but no, um, but no nunchuck. But there is no nunchuck. Great. <laughs> okay. You I feel like we're asking one. the questions that everyone needs the to big, know. The big, uh, the big subjects. <laughs> oh no! This is going to be a real person or a bot. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry it's if a bot. I am hoping it's a bot too. Let's just harass some poor person. He just wants us to look at their lightsabers. Mm. I want them to see the nunchuck. Maybe someone's already designed one. Nunchuck. Oh, oh someone's got to have done some. It must already be some done. Art. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, fucking Bruce Lee Jedi. That would be fucking sick. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> that would be so hard to swing. Who cares? You'd have to have shortened blades, though, right? They couldn't be, like, full lightsaber length. You'd never be able to, like, fucking swing it. You'd want them to be, like... I don't know, two foot tops. I can swing a regular lightsaber <laughs> or a regular nunchuck. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, true. Like, however it goes. No. Oh, I'm going to reply. Uh, oh, oh, inspired by a character from Legends. Oh, look, let me take over. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, for. God, I can't even type. Okay, set up. Have a <laughs> <the> day. <laughs> Smiley face. Oh, there, there you go. You saved the day. There we go. Well done. I just feel like that wasn't a robot that we were talking no, to. No, I thought it was a robot. That's why I was harassing it. I didn't think it would be a real person, but now I do. They've all missed a trick with the pod race a bit. Yeah, it would be way better. Oh. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's meant for something else. <laughs> that looks, that looks like something different. <laughs> oh, there you go. Happy sabering. Oh, thanks. But now that message came out. Now I do think it was a bot. But you know, I'm sure they've got a script, right? Oh, they just have a like a hotkey. Sign off. What the fuck is this stupid one? <laughs> That's got the tickler on it. <laughs> the tickler. Oh, okay, sure. Why? <laughs> that is weird. <sighs> Fine. It's like a double dooku. <laughs> yeah. I like that shade of blue, though. That's pretty nice. Weirdest. Lightsaber. 
What's the weirdest lightsaber? Oh, the fucking helicopters. They those suck. are fucking dull. I hate those. I can get on board with a, like a pole arm. Yeah. Oh shit, an actual cross guard that would work. That madness. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, that <laughs> was actually kind of legit. Really? But it's, there's so much of that that isn't lightsaber that you could chop through, right? Yeah, but um, that was on uh, the Star Wars Visions. Yeah. I'd highly recommend you watch just that one episode. It's actually pretty, pretty legit. Okay, well. Like, imagine it's fucking um, an Akira Kurosawa movie, mm -hmm. but the samurai have lightsabers. Okay, and I'm into it's that. it's got this really, like, grainy effect, and it's really, like, over the top and weird and very, like, stylized and has this real, like, feudal Japan aesthetic, but it's still in mm -hmm. Star Wars. Okay. Like, in the Star Wars universe. That sounds and, pretty cool. Uh, I thought it was, thought it was great. Nice. Thumb up. One big thumb up. Oh, lightsaber whip. Ooh. That's kind of rad. Oh, that's weird. That might win weirdest award. No, the helicopters. Helicopters win worst award. That's the stupidest. That's the one I like the least. Especially when they actually fucking fly with it. Yeah, that makes no sense at all. Dumb. Dumb. Oh, mini ones. There you go. Okay. More yeah. people should have, like, you know, lightsaber like, knife to go with oh, their... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Like the sort of duelist dagger. Yeah. That'd yeah, I'm amazed we haven't seen that before. Why is that not a thing? I bet that must have been... I think basically any combination of anything with a lightsaber has already been done, right? Oh, my God. It's a fucking Jabba with a lightsaber. Oh, fuck! I'm <laughs> terrible at this! <laughs> it also looks really small on him. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'd have a bigger one. Yeah, you feel like you could get away with giving that, that lad a giant one. Or does it max out, you know? Oh. Like, planes. Can planes only get so big? Planes can only be so big. Wow. Weight to thrust and air. God, I shouldn't have started oh on that God. one. Like, Ratio. Like bugs, Ben. <laughs> bugs can only be so big. Bugs can only be so big. You can't have giant bug because it mm. would, like, just crush itself or something. Yeah. Okay, planes are like bugs. Got planes it. are like bugs, and maybe they are like lightsabers. Did you hear about this guy? Did you tell me the story about how at a Star Wars convention, just fucking 100 people all cosplayed as this guy with the <laughs> ice cream machine? <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Do you remember him from Cloud City? They're like, no. Lando's like, evacuate Cloud City. I've changed my mind. We're not being cool with the Empire anymore. And um, then this guy's just like, oh, God, where do I go with his <laughs> fucking ice cream maker? Um, Cloud City Ice Cream Man. <laughs> God, wait, go back. That's such an unflattering <laughs> model they made of him as well. Like well, everyone you... else is like... He's not even that fat no, a guy. No, he's not at all. He's fine. But to immortalize him as a figure, they're like, yeah, make him real fat because he eats ice cream all day and everyone hates him. <laughs> but like, can you imagine one day they're like, we're making a fucking action figure of you. You'd be like, oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're the only chubby one. Yeah, you're the chubby boy. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. This was even worse. Why did they make him so fat? That's really mean. <laughs> He's not that big a guy. <laughs> so mean. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Has he got a fucking card? Wow. No, the thing has a card. Oh, it's no. not for him. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. So, look, here they go. They all turned up at the convention. <laughs> Had like a selfie together. I kind of, I kind of love it. 
I kind of, kind of love it. No, that's real Avatar cosplay. This must be the one I'm thinking of. Maybe this one. I mean, I think it's way more fun than just being like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah. It's just that apparently every Star Wars convention has a fucking ice cream man meetup. It's kind of legit. <laughs> That's that, This is one of the things that, you know, the internet is, is good for. There's a lot That's of terrible true. things on the internet. There does, are. But allowing people to kind of, you know, get together and enjoy this one chubby fuck <laughs> and all dress up as him. Great. I wonder what he thinks of this. <laughs> That ice cream maker's got a moustache. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, which oh. which Star Wars are you dressing up as? You have you get to dress up as a Star Wars. Who? Do oh, you okay. And but we're gonna take off mm -hmm. this guy. You're yep. not allowed to dress up as this guy. Obviously. Obviously, because it's everyone wants to. Yeah, but the thing is, I have to. Um, I'm taking a lot of things into account, right? Because it has to be cool, mm -hmm. it has to be funny, mm -hmm. it has to be easy, and it has to not get too hot. Let's say, you know, the the, the dressing up genie comes to you, and they're like, Boo, <laughs> right. we, we give you this costume, it'll look it'll look great. Oh, okay, I get a free, perfect costume. Yeah, like, it'll look real, real good. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but you can't resell it or something like that. I don't okay. know, like... Yeah, because I don't want to be, like, struggling to get around and getting too hot. And yeah, like a full kind of... Jabba costume. Yeah, that's too much, right? Right there. Um, hmm. It'd be fun to have a Grievous costume. Oh, that'd be pretty good. Because you'd have those extra arms that, like, linked to your yeah, arms by wires, around. and you'd be like, Oh, General Kenobi! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Are you bound to find some Obi Wans who can be like, "Hello there." Ah, uh, yeah, it would be good. I'm in. <laughs> you get to go <laughs> off, off around the place to everyone you see. Just be a spooky, spooky, uh, That'd be fun, spooky Robo Man. And then you know when you meet up with other Jedi's and you'd like take selfies and stuff. You'd be uh, like, Aha! Another fine one to add to my collection. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the lines. Good. It's got the memes. What do you reckon? Hard costume to pull off, but I'm I'm in. Well, I'm getting a free perfect one done for me. Oh, it'll be pretty good, yeah. But like, he's pretty like skinny then. Not how I do him. <laughs> you do him like the fucking <laughs> Disney made that guy's figure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, that being one's inside rad. the cloak. The cloak is genius. That is how you fucking do it. Because then it's like one of those like T Rex costumes. Yeah, right? where yeah. like you're actually. God, that's really. Yeah, smart. there we go. Look at that. That looks great. That looks really fucking good. Okay, real clever. Oh, but now I am gonna get hot. Also, yeah, like because your head's not even in his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they've done great work there. That's wow, awesome. that's crazy good. Well done. You even got little fingies. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Looks a bit awkward to pilot. What's he seeing out of, like, the chest, I guess? Something. God, but now it's not even, like, you in... It's not you dressed up. No, it's like you're puppeting a suit. Yeah, yeah. Thing, aren't you? Oh, can I be Palpatine with the big bio frame thing from The Last Skywalker? Yeah, just a truck driving around with you. Yeah, on a crane. Dangling around. <laughs> sure, yeah, you can. You can definitely do that. <laughs> I want that thing. Why not? Um, God, like, even his head's look fucking great. This guy's done make Like, the eyes look so good. Holy moly. Well done, you. Uh... Has someone done an Elan sleaze bagano <laughs> cosplay? <laughs> that, uh... They definitely have. He never stood a chance with a name like that, did he? Sleaze bagano. Man. You want to buy some glow sticks? <laughs> you want to buy some glow sticks? <laughs> wow. Okay. Is that the only one? 
pretty good. It's well, made an action figure. Try the. Oh yeah. Do it with the proper name. Okay, That's just one person. Literally the one. Well, that guy's nailing it. That's the best costume I've ever seen. Mm, fucking great. Good job. Oh, like doing it like IG would be great, but. Oh, being a droid would suck. Stuck in a metal suit the whole time. Yeah. Oh, it could be this guy. <laughs> yeah. That'd be even That's, easier. Yeah, because all you need to do is just get some brown shorts, <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> and you're basically that. And a clarinet. <laughs> just nailed it. Problem solved. Oh. Wow. Perfect. Um, okay. Do we want to talk about some Warhammer? We've managed to really... T oh, wow. Yeah, we've gone for 45 minutes without talking about Warhammer. Um, okay, there's really not very much news today, which is why... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter that we uh, just rambled on about just other garbage. Uh, we got 40 Years of Warhammer, the Gigante. I love Gigante. Gigante. This this one was awesome. I really still like the original one, though. The big bushy beard. A big bushy beard. That guy, super rad. And they're not even going to show us old bushy beard boy. Oh, there he is. Nice. So I like that he's got a big keg of Bugman's, yeah. Bugman's Brewery. That's fun. So I, I do like him, but I feel like he's too much of just like a big man. Yeah, you want weird proportions. You want I, them to be a different species. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um... That guy's kind of fun as well. Yeah. And that guy, too small. He's meant to be the biggest giant that ever ever lived. And he's the same height as all the other giants. Yeah, they should have added, like, a few extra mil to his head. <laughs> something. Different shoulders, maybe? Yeah, giving him a Kragnos rock, anything. Yeah. Uh, but... Great. Hmm. What next? Um... We've got some Gacha Marines, season two or three or whatever, of random, buy your random Plague Marines. They're, they're nice alternate sculpts for Plague Marines. Sure. I don't like that they all are missing helmets. Yeah, because they're heroes, right? Each one's like got a name and is okay. a guy. But I know what you mean. I would probably put helmets on most of them. Just Plague Marines just have such cool helmets. You think they'd have fucked their skin up a bit more as well, to be honest. Yeah. You're right, Plague Marine helmets do look great. Because it's based on the Mark III helm. It mm. looks really cool. But I like the ones that have the like the real circular... The big bug eyes. The like, bug eyes on them. That's cool. Uh, this one's got a Nurgling instead of a, like, a Morning Star. Okay. Oh, he's doing his part. This Nurgling's looking weird. He's plugged something in. Sure. Not sure what he's up to. Okay. Like I like the, the wizard. He's cool. Yeah. As most of the others, you could have told me, like, oh, yeah, these are the ones that have been out for three years. I'm like, sure. Yeah, they're not substantially different, are they? Mm. They're fun alternate sculpts. Um, it's like all the Nuglings. Nuglings are cool. Well, that's literally the only new model they've shown, I think, this week. Wow. Everything else is just 10th edition still coming. Oh, tell a lie, there's one more model. It's Lieutenant Titus from Space Marine 2. He's real cross. He's pretty good. It's good, though, because now, you know, there's not that many alternate sculpts for Space Marine lieutenants. Bad. It's good to have another one. Bad. <laughs> you know, really mix things up a bit. People just love a fucking lieutenant. They sure do. Uh, he's coming in a little starter board game, which just looks like roll dice until all the termagants are dead. Oh, yeah. Wow, 40 page rule book. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it does include backstory and two training missions and two unique missions. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, we should play this. You reckon? Sure. I mean, you can only get it in Target. In America. Oh. But sure. No, it's fine. Like um, We'll just pick one up for like £250 on eBay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Let's do that. 
Um, and then Skulls. We've got some new games. This is a Age of Sigmar RTS that I'd like never heard of. This is like the only. Whoa, that's too loud. This is like the only thing that's been announced that I hadn't heard of before. Which I'd like to know more, but they really don't show us anything about the game. It's all cutscenes and people in uh, turtleneck. For some reason. <laughs> For some reason, Age of Sigma players <laughs> love a turtleneck. Oh, there we go. So I've got no idea what the gameplay is other than some kind of RTS. Okay. Interesting. Um, speed Freaks. Yeah, so I saw this and was like, holy shit, I love an orc. I love a Speed Freak. And if some of this stuff is um, gameplay footage, I thought it looked fucking rad. Yeah, I think some of this is... This looks like gameplay footage, right? Just, just looks fun. Just looks fucking ace. Orcsies driving around, shooting each other. Although I do feel like when they show the tank, it's like, that tank's going pretty fucking fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure about the collision physics either, but sure. Why not? Boom. Just looks like fucking insane world of tanks. Yeah, like twisted metal or yeah, that kind of thing. Just I'm kind of in. I think it looks looks kind of fun. Uh, Space Marine Two still coming at some point. It's still coming. And I, I don't know if I like. I did enjoy the first one, mm. but I don't know if I need to play it. I don't know. I'm not excited for the new one. I feel like I, I, I played it and I, it's done and I'm never going to go back. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I, I will play this. It, I want to give it a go. Also, who do you think is going to be the, the, the twist enemies in the second oh, half of, of the game? Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, chaos again. Can it be Chaos? But Chaos and Tyranids don't really play nice together. Not a Chaos and Orcs. When Chaos turned up, they killed all the Orcs. Yeah, but that's fine. But like, having the Chaos turn up and kill the kill the Tyranids, Necrons would be fun. Necrons? Yeah, I could imagine Necrons. If it turns out that this is like a tomb world. But Necrons don't really have a lot of melee troops. Uh, flayed ones. Yeah, but do you want to fight a billion flayed ones? Scarab swarms. Ugh, I tomb don't... spiders. Tomb spiders would be fun uh, to fight. Destroyers. The, oh, the, the new ones. ones. Yeah, okay. There you go, Ben. I, I forgot about those new guys. Just named a whole load of them for you. Mm. Uh, Do you think they're definitely... Lich Guard. Tomb Guard. The two variants. The one with the, the axe and, and the, the one, one with, with the, the shield. shield. All right. God, can I... Do I just keep you, going? You uh, win. <laughs> yeah. Are you, I don't know if there will be one, but it'd be cool if there was. There's gotta be... You can't just fucking shoot Termagons for six hours. Or well, how long is the campaign going to be? I don't know. Treyot Praetorians. <laughs> um, and then... What is that noise? It sounds like children screaming outside. Oh, okay, that's normal. Um, this guy? The new Chaos guy in Total War 3? I'll be honest, I don't think this is what Total War 3 needed. Harold Hammerstorm! Hammerman! He's the coolest guy ever. I mean, he's got some amazing artwork. Do you remember? Um... So, he, he kind of is. This guy. He's the guy who's was holding the original titular, like, the Warhammer. Yeah, because this is the first edition cover art for Warhammer Fantasy. That's the Warhammer. Which is, it's not the biggest. <laughs> it literally looks like the hammer I have in my toolbox. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Just like a mallet. He has really fucked that skeleton up with it, though. Well, do you know his uh, rich lore? Um, based on this, I assume he fucking hates undead and is mega good against undead. He He's killed so many skeletons mm -hmm. that normally your average person fears skeletons but skeletons fear him. Ooh. He causes fear in undead, <laughs> which is kind of rad. <laughs> sort okay, of that. that's kind of fun. They just flipped it. Um, but yeah, I think he's. I think he's pretty cool. That's he's got a good face shield. I forgot they and made an old he's got a big hammer, or a new one rather. 
He's not as cool as the OG, is he? Just a big, like, big... He just looks so warhammery. I love him. He's way more fun than the, the updated model. Why didn't they make the new one look like him? This guy just looks like a, any generic Chaos Lord. Just nerds, Ben. Oh, there we go. There's... Oh! That's close. He looks there, great. Isn't it? Hmm. Blammo. Blammo! Eat shit, skeleton! <laughs> Cool. So he's in the game. Um, well, he calls fear in skeletons. Yeah, apparently he has an aura that removes the undead special rule from everything near him. So that means they they use their morale. They don't crumble, but they can break. Oh, okay. It sort of turns them living again. And he does a a leadership debuff on everyone else. Pop, that isn't undead. Mm. But how often are you fighting undead as Chaos Warriors? Often you kind of just ignore them, right? Yeah, because they're the only people who aren't warring you. <laughs> yeah. Although I feel like often when you do players undead, there's a just a coin flip if Chaos just barrels into <laughs> you. And you're like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> yeah. thanks, Chaos. Unless if you're vampires. If you're yeah. playing any other undead, you're nowhere bloody near them, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, the outrageously popular Chaos Dwarves. Yeah. Apparently so. Is he a hero or a lord? That's a good question. I think he was a hero before, but I'm guessing in this he'd probably be a lord, right? Is, is he a faction leader? Is he a legendary lord? Oh, maybe he won't be. Because that might be more interesting if he has some kind of faction rule. But if he's just a little hero boy, it's kind of nothing, is it? Uh, legendary yeah. hero. Hmm. Mm. You have to do a quest, and then you get him. Sure. Arry the armor. Uh, get to level 15, and then kill 3,000 enemies in battle. Seems easy enough. The hammer storm cometh! <laughs> cool. Sure. All right, well, he'll be a thing. We should play the Chaos Warriors again. We did, I feel like something... Did we not finish the campaign? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know either. Oh, Blorka, I think we lost. Oh, yeah. Blorka sucked. We doomborned. Um, but then we got the most Peggy important oh. important Warhammer game of all time. Oh, my God. I was genuinely excited by this. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was pretty rad. <laughs> this uh, totally surprised me. I like never saw this coming. I like, I like Power Wash Sim. I like Warhammer, man. Merge them together. I'm there. Perfect. When's it out? No idea. Hmm. What do you think? Should we place our bets? What are you going to clean up? I, I feel like it's going to be like a Land Raider or a Rhino. Yeah. It has to be one of those two. Definitely. I think, well, I don't know, because they're both firstborn vehicles, aren't they? But they're still more iconic than the Primaris ones. Mm. It's just very unusual for GW to promote anything old, you know? But I can't see them putting in a repulsor. We say as we scroll off of Harry the Hammer. I'm, it's different. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest fucking thing in the world. <laughs> Literally the, the first thing. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Every time you see a, a fucking space marine, it's not. They're always a Primaris. Yeah. It's, they never sh do show off firstborn stuff anymore. Okay. Maybe what if they do the Avenger ATV? <laughs> Feels more likely. Or maybe that new tank, the Rogal Dawn tank. Uh maybe like a Lehman Rust tank. Mm. I I like this is one situation where I'd rather it be like a iconic space marine thing. Wow. I think it would be I mean, I'd rather it was a um a Land Raider. I feel like a Land Raider. I just from playing the game a lot, mm. that feels like a really good size for a level in Power Wash Sim, and there's enough fiddly bits, mm -hmm. and you can go around and you can clean the whole thing. That just seems like a good, good vibe. Bane Blade. Bane Blade is going to be m fucking massive. Do they do tool stuff in that game? Like, could you have a knight? Yeah, they do tool stuff. Like, I could. I can't imagine them doing an Imperial Knight because when they did the Final Fantasy one, you clean like the big robot, and that thing is. Probably about night size. Okay. I'd like that. That'd be fun. Cleaning all the gore off the chain first. Yeah. 
Oh um, yeah, I'll, mm. I'll do it. What if the whole level just like a hive city under world, <laughs> or like a space Hulk? <laughs> you just got like space Hulk would be kind of cool. Like, miles and miles of corridor to like oh God, scrape like, down. Get a bit, a bit fucking boring. <laughs> um, we'll see. Mm. Hopefully, it will be a great unclean one. Ooh, you gotta turn him into the great clean one. Ooh, Ugh. Do you remember him? <laughs> yeah. So you gotta turn this guy into this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a goal you wanna be working towards, no. is it? <laughs> He's kind of more spooky, isn't he, than this guy? Yeah. Mm. Gross. Uh, some new Dark Tide content. Sure. I've not gone back and played any Dark Tide. No, I played it a bunch when it first came out, but I sort of quickly lost interest. Yeah. <laughs> just, I don't know. I wasn't interested in just repeating the same stuff. The weapons and upgrades didn't feel <laughs> yeah. different or exciting enough yeah, to I keep me going. So. Um, I'm I'm quite excited for Rogue Trader. I think this could be fun. Uh, it's like a, like a turn-based combat RPG thing with like loads of different races where you're you've got your ragtag crew who like level up and stuff. You've got a bit of everything, you know. You got some mm. Imperials, you got some some Eldar, some weird stuff. There's a fucking Space Marine. Hopefully, he fucks. <laughs> hopefully, you don't have to just have the Space Wolf. Yeah, no, this could be fun. And then there's some kind of like ship combat too. Blammo! I think this has great potential. Okay. But we'll wait and see. <gasps> it's got Snake <gasps> Boy in it. Snake. Fucking love those Snake Boys. Those snake Boys are pretty rad. Dark Mechanicum, dude. He's cool. Pretty, pretty good. Moon Boy's here. Moon boy. I won't join the beta though. I won't fit properly out. Yeah, jeez. And some card games. Bolt Gun. We both played a bit of Bolt Gun, didn't we? Yeah, Bolt Gun. Great. Also, it wasn't on sale during the Skulls thing. No, it had just come out. Yeah. The last week's was. Oh, yeah. So you win. So I won. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but it's great. Highly recommend. Give it a play. Hmm. Whoa! God, the fucking volume on every single one. Yeah, this was fun. I played it for a few hours, but I did kind of... I had to stop. It was a bit much. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it was a fun novelty. I don't know if I'm going to play a whole bunch more of it, though. I might go back to it. It's kind of fun. It's very satisfying to play. And that's it, I think, for Skulls and Games Workshop News. Wow, wow, wow. Um, do you want to guess what's new in Vietnam this week? Oh, we've been burnt by that fucking tank. So and then it times. wasn't last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for a uh, repair crew with spanners oh, and I buckets. Like I'm going to go for, like, boxes. It's like b boxes and like a, like a man loading a box. Like, you know, okay. nothing Sp cool. Spanners versus boxes. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Perfect. Uh, the War Games Atlantic they Traitor look Guard. fucking rad. we got Traitor Horses, which look real cool. Oh, God. Like, this, these Traitor Guard models that they've made. Mm. I think this is some of my favorite things that War Games Atlantic have made. Yeah. Like, these look so fucking They were good. a real step up from their last batch, which I thought were pretty good anyway. Yeah. And if they're the same kind of price point as the old ones, then this Holy is fucking shit. Weird, isn't it? like super good. I uh, got some shatter points. There's a Darth Maul and I think he's um Darth Maul's brother. He's got a real fucking dumb name. Derek Maul <laughs> of the Maul brothers. <laughs> he's called Savage Oppress. Oh, I have heard that. What is fucking wrong with Star Wars names? Like, what is that? Normally they kind of hide it by, like, you know, mix, like, removing a letter or something from some part of it. Yeah. But, 
Just, oh. yeah. Wow. Evil stab man. Evil stab man. Um, great. Uh, Plus, uh, Mace Windu. And some pew pew boys. Sure. Uh, got more of these guys. It's kind of fucking cool. There's a big bull, bull boy. Some like Greek style conquest boys. Mm. Why not? Okay. Uh, who are these lads? Riley's Rangers. Are they in Fallout 4? Maybe. I don't really remember them. Sure. Dystopian flag sources. Ooh. Oh, I don't love how the, they're just smaller versions of the same thing. Yeah, God, like, what are they? How much dystopian wars have they done? I feel like it's moved companies two or three times. Yeah. Because it was Spartan Games. Mm. But then they didn't make enough. And they sold it on to someone else. And then I like, feel like it moved hands again. Yeah. I can see some of their units. There's some really cool models in Dystopian Wars. But I do like UFOs. I just see miniatures. Sure. Mm, great. Website's not the best. Uh, UFOs, kind of fun. I like the little bases with the mm. little, like, spoke swarms on. Very cute. That's fun. We got a, a witch killing an orc. Is that, what's the name? Ventress. Um, what's the Lilith name? Hesperax. Lilith Hesperax. I think. God, because she's got her bare feet out. Oh, like, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't the internet hate her feet for some reason? I can't remember. I remember there was a lot of complaining when that model came out. Oh, was it because she had big feet or something? They love her feet. Okay. I'll never, I can't keep up. Hmm. They hated that she was more muscly. She would be fucking muscly. She's like the best arena combatant person, right? She'd have some muscles on her. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a bit more... But then I guess she's an elf. With elf right. magic. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of kind of fun. Yeah. That orc's getting fucked up real good. Yeah, that orc ain't having a good day. Uh, I got a little car. Beep beep. And a different little car. Boop boop. And then... Oh! Ooh. Little medic trolley! That thing's fucking <laughs> rad! Can't believe neither of us guessed that. <laughs> Have we never guessed medic trolley before? <laughs> Wow, IV drip. That thing looks amazing. Shit. I love it. It's like one of those little cars you get at the airport. Yeah. But it's an ambulance. God, it's like just the worst fucking game of Mario Kart you've ever played. Just <laughs> bullet holes <laughs> as the guy on the front is just zooming around. I did once say man with IV drip many, many weeks yeah. ago. But I never would have called little flatbed medic car. <laughs> no, I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck about. <laughs> Uh, oh. then tank, tank, tank screamers. What's your preferred tank screamer? Mm. Real shouty guy, telephone guy, nonplussed guy, or mustachio man? Uh, mustachio, very cool. In order, I'm putting America fourth because that's too bland. Mm -hmm. Not exciting enough. Maybe then Shoutman. Shoutman's pretty good. You probably would shout over your thing. Yeah, well, Soviet tanks didn't have radios, so they had so, to shout. a lot of shouting. Next is maybe British, because, you know, he's doing some cool stuff, but you're a fucking target there. And then mm. in number one is India, because they have cool mustache. Wow. Boom. That's my ranking. I mostly agree, but I do feel like uh, this guy's got a gun, so he wins. Yeah, but live by the gun, die by the gun. <laughs> right, I suppose everyone else is ducking down. Yeah, yeah, everyone else is ready to avoid <laughs> bullets, whereas yeah. doesn't stand a chance. Hmm. Okay, good ranking. I rank your ranking high. Thank you. <laughs> One of my favorite rankings. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Uh, uh, wow, right, oh. kick, start a roulette. Not many, are there? A lot of things. Hmm. Cloth goblins. Oh, what? I can't believe I missed that. It has goblins. I'm like, <laughs> hoping it's not fucking sexy. 
Um, oh, there's a lot of fucking sexy ones in here. Hmm. Oh, I don't even know what I want here. Uh, Let's go with Guard Factory Scions of Callum. Ooh, that's good. And the Zectonium Prison Mine. Oh, that's great as well. Dead Earth Miniatures. Would the Piscean. Fishman. Yeah, but is there going to be titties? <laughs> is my. No one would find a fish person sexy. Is my thing. Right, I'm going to look out for what chat wants. Find out what they, they want. Oh, uh, chat wants heretic women. Of course they do. Uh, where's heretic women? Uh, down two more. Boom. Heretic women. And I will do the mystery of the ancient cave. Great. Can I just peek at hex terrain printable gaming board? Ooh. Do like a hexagon. Okay. Hex terrain. Oh, there we go. It does what it says on the tin. It's pretty nice. Okay. Cool. It's not too hexy, is it? No. Like, you could game on that. Yeah, like, actually, pretty good. Yeah. I do like the grassy one. Yeah. That looks, that looks real nice. Mm. And, like, the water is real good. Very good. Nice. Uh, okay. The Mysteries of the Ancient Cave. Ooh. 3D models for 3D printing. <laughs> sure. Uh, oh, you get some spooky dungeons. It's a spooky dungeon. There's some spooky boys. Hmm. They're all quite static. It's hard to know where the model begins and the... Yeah, the art ends. Do we actually get to see the real models? I just want to see... I figure that guy's fun. Oh. He's like a bad demon man. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, they're much more interesting this way. There's a big frog boy. Bleh, frog man. Okay. Well, just a lot of evil. Yeah. Things. This thing looks. This thing is very nice. Yeah. It's a fun little, little dungeon crawling, f fun time. Very nice terrain. Very cute. Mm. Okay. Cool. There's some nice stuff in there. Boo. Neat. Oh, the arc's kind of cool. Yeah, that thing looks fucking ace. Into that. Having like an evil, evil arc. A lot of gold. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, heretic women. Oh, SDL. chat. What have you found here? 28 and 32 mil models maybe means it isn't going to be so horny. It's true. The horny ones are usually bigger scale. Yeah, right? because you want, you really want to seal the bits. Hmm. Oh, she's like the um, the Nazgals. Oh. From Rings of Power. Yeah. I'm good. Oh man, it made I brought a tear to my eye. Yeah. This one's throwing bananas at you. <laughs> <Off there. laughs> Great weapon. Uh, oh, chat. Well done, you picked something not horny. They they were trying to get something horny. These actually <laughs> look great. I really like these models. Yeah, maybe you can recreate that very well written scene. Pretty rad. Okay. Neat. Hmm. Uh, that means you're going to be the horny one. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the Zectonium prison mine. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's like sci-fi terrain. Yeah. Pretty cool. No, oh, boarding cool. action stuff. Boarding action. Got some ramps. Got some platforms. Oh. Doors. God, I Ooh. love this animation. Holy That's shit. That's fun. Hello. Oh, this stuff is this. This stuff is cool. Well, yeah, just build your own, whatever you want. Just slot it together. Oh, I do worry about three D printing though, and how easy it is to slot together because some sometimes things are gonna slightly misprint, right? And you've got to do a, bit, a lot of cleaning up. There'll be a lot of cleaning up involved here. A special graveyard. Yeah, this stuff all all great. 
Yeah, very cool. Wow, everything's like been pretty nice so far. Mm. Scions of Callum. Uh, ooh. Okay. Looks a bit like a um, Thunder Warrior style. Yeah, format. it does a bit. And some guns. Oh, these guys did the... They do the beret troopers. Yeah. Yeah, these are very, like, second edition guard, aren't they? I'm kind of into them, actually. I kind of like them. These look rad. Yeah, they look like a, like a naval trooper. Yeah. Kind yeah, of like, vibe, feels like they? you can easily... Easily use these guys for, uh, you know, your auxiliaries. Mm. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty, pretty nice. Ooh, old school. The yeah. old school stormtrooper. And the even older school stormtroopers. Yeah. Oh, shit, they're pretty nice. Man, everything this week has been very good so far. Well, we've hopefully saved the best till last. Cloth, Cloth goblins! Cloth goblins! Okay. What, what's cloth about them? They're kind of cute. They're very little. They're very little, little boys. Oh, oh he's who's nice. that? He's a fun friend. They he's have a, a cloth troll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I like their door shields. Oh, so they're made of... They're made of cloth? Okay. What? Cloth goblins. They're like, um... Do you remember the clangers? Yeah, yeah, they've got that sort of feel to them. It's like, what if the clangers were goblins? Cloth goblin. They're very cute. They're super cute. Oh. Oh. Cloth bird. Oh. Cloth oh. penguin. <laughs> Cloth rats. <laughs> oh my god, I love them. Cloth cat. Oh. These things, they f these feel like they should be pieces in like a really cute board game. Yeah. Like less so as miniatures. Mm, I know exactly what you mean, yeah. You could cloth make a cats. game for them. Oh, look at the three cloth kittens. Oh. Look how fucking cute that is, Ben. That's so cute. How do you paint it without ruining it? I don't know, but it looks yeah. so cute. You'd have to do like a lot of stippling to get that like cloth texture on it. Oh, they're good. <laughs> it's like little cloth wolf. It's a little cloth wolf. <laughs> He's so nice. Oh. I love them. They're adorable. A spooky cloth ghost, this guy. Mr. Swither. <laughs> He's kind of creepy. These are fucking rad. Oh, I really like them. Aww. Well, I think maybe these win this week. Oh, I, I feel like everything has been good. Those kittens are... That thing is yeah, probably adorable. Yeah, they are horrible. adorable. And the wolf. These are really good. Um, holy shit. I think these are great. I actually really like these. They're pretty cool. I think they're pretty rad. This was really nice terrain. Yeah, it's good too. They're all good this week, aren't they? Uh, I don't think like chat's thing. I thought these guys were pretty cool. I, I don't know. Like, I'm just looking for a lot of um, like dark fantasy miniatures at the moment. Oh, okay. And just instantly can be like, oh, that would work. Working mm -hmm. uh a little side project. Uh, this terrain was really nice. Yeah. And this stuff looked, looked pretty good. Yeah, they're all good. Like, no duds this week. Wow. I just think these are the cutest. I kind of like, I kind of want some. Oh, those kittens. Super cute. The old lady. It's kind of creepy. Wow. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, pow. Everyone wins. I think everyone wins. Those were all, all great. And it's that fucking little kid. <laughs> Just love it. Uh, there's some dice I missed. Were they good dice? I'm going to guess. They were just regular, regular dice. Only, I think you've seen all the dice now. It right? takes a lot, a lot to get me, uh, you know. When was the last time you saw a new dice idea? A new thing that I was hot for. Mm. Uh, ooh, I saw some fun army man dice. Oh. Uh, Tell me more. Army man dice. Here, I think it was these. Ooh, wow, 60 pounds. I saw these. I was like, they're fun. <laughs> but they're just stars instead of pips and an army man instead of a one. Yeah. 
It's, there's nothing to them. Why is that cool? I thought they were fun. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. But I didn't. I didn't buy them. I was like, hmm. kind of rad. Uh, so yeah. Okay. There's some custom dice in a game I'm reading the rules for at the moment. Oh. Um, so it's a um, it's like a World War Two. Um, special operations where you have like five or six commandos go in. Nice. It's like 20 security guards and you got to like blow up the radar Orphanage. or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's got some fun little dice. You have a little, uh, you know, if your guy's high ranked, then the, you know, the high ranked ones hit. And if your guy's low ranked, then they miss. And then you see if you get spotted or not spotted. Oh, neat. Um, great. It's cute. Can I have some? They feel very good. Please, Papa. <laughs> now we've got to see if, if we can film it for games now. We need to see if there's some kind of tricksy way of doing, like, night effects on camera. I don't know, it might be too, too hard to pull off. I think do it in post. Yeah, just fix it in post. I'm Not sure. like, uh, no, I think, like, uh, we, we could talk about this often. I've yeah. got an idea on okay. how you could do it. I feel like it can be done. I just don't know enough about it to, like, know how to do it. We can work it out. Oh, sweet. I want this set, Ben. Look, you get the dice. <laughs> you get the, all the, the, the dead Nazis. Oh, brilliant. And is that getting dressed? Nazi? Die getting dressed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. dude. The alarm's going off. <laughs> you have to like, hide bodies and stuff like that. Ooh. It's like that kind of game. And now uh, you get guy with, hiding bodies. guy with dog. Guy with dog is pretty fucking good. Let's go. And guy with flashlight. Guy with flashlight. Mad scientist. Nazi Science. with monocle. Okay. You know, what's that oh, like? that's a kind of a cool fucking set. You get all of the <laughs> tropes. Yeah. Like, fucking mad scientist, evil doctor, the super bad guy, <laughs> you know, the Fraulein with her fucking Bren gun or whatever. Uh, man with dog. Salute dude. That's yeah, cool. That's a good set. I haven't tried the rules out yet, but it seems promising. I think we could have a fun adventure. Oh, Surrender Man! <laughs> yeah. I want to be him! <laughs> For him, the war is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Oh, that guy's even got glasses on. Mm. Nice. Oh, these guys are cool. There's some fun minis. Yeah, I think we can have some fun with this. We can, like, you know, make a Sergeant Price or an Indiana Jones. Them running around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a Sergeant Price there. We'll get him next time, lads. Next time. Oh, I we could have like a Scots brigade all in kilts. Ooh. Surely just want one Scot in a kilt and he yeah. can have the Bren gun. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we'll do that. And you can have the uh, the French resistance. Oh, okay. Ooh la la. I want the baguette. <laughs> Actually, a sniper rifle. Perfect. So you're just keeping you're on your little bicycle with the basket and, yeah, the, and yeah. the baguette, and then blammo! <laughs> Got him. Perfect. And delicious lunch as well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I think that could be fun. And we can flip it as well, right? So once we've had our fun with the, all the tropes, mm -hmm. we've still got all those Dad's Army miniatures from that video we did a while back. Oh, okay. So we're going to have the German commandos like infiltrating the sleepy British town. And then uh, all the sentries are the beloved sitcom characters. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Like that alternate history where Captain Mannering has his throat fucking slit. <laughs> yeah, and the body hidden. Yeah, his body hidden. And uh, then these guys, the Nazis managed to blow yeah. up London. And then that, you know, that 14-year-old kid finds the, like, decapitated corpse oh, of, of yeah. Price, raises the alarm. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Okay, great. Yeah, this, sound, this sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah. I think that, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this story instead, Ben. <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Uh, great. Uh, Do we have any other hot news? Hot, um, hot info? Only this one thing, like, uh, Gollum came out. Do you remember Gollum? I do remember Gollum. Do you remember his wig? He was the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he's got hair. It's apparently, it's so bad, the devs had to issue an apology, which I just thought was a fun headline. 
Like, what What do they say in their apology? Um, they deeply regret that the game did not meet expectations. I, I just remember seeing a bit of, like, some of the screenshots of this game and being like, this doesn't look good. This yeah. doesn't look like a good game at all. Ravs did it all in one sitting, and I watched him for about an hour just getting super frustrated and the game bugging out and being janky as shit. Oh. Um, God, it got mega delayed and still came out crap. Oof. Feels bad. Hmm. I'm guessing they just ran out of money. They were still working on it, trying to make it better. And then at some point, they were like, it's now or never, guys. Like, we don't have enough money to pay everyone to keep making it. Okay. I assume that's what happened. It's 50 quid, though. 50 quid! Wow, 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 wow. Um. Please enter our valid date. Yeah, I was born in 1946. Oof. 35%. Wow. God, normally Day Delica are pretty, pretty fucking on it with their games. But yeah, you'd think you get the license for Lord of the Rings and you'd um, you'd pull all, all, out all the stops, right? Mm. Yeah, just just real janky. It's supposed to like the top, just the top review. Normally we don't kind of go too bad. There should never be a AAA full release. Too much filler. Okay. <laughs> 30 years of gaming, this is the worst game I've ever played. See, that's the kind of review I wanted. <laughs> what about, we hate is it? <laughs> okay, that's fun as well. You know, you're playing, you're playing it up, <laughs> having a bit of fun as you, uh, as you say you hate this game. Wow. Big oof. <laughs> Action and stealth. This game has a bit of both, and they are both terrible. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, what do the good reviews say? Ooh. What did the gooders say? Don't listen to all the haters. Gollum's the coolest. Likes having schizophrenic arguments. I had some bugs. Uh. <laughs> if it was $10, I'd recommend it. These are the best reviews. Okay. Oh my god. I did not find the ring. I feel like a lot of these, these reviews are a meme. Frame rate drops are now canon in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Positive <laughs> review. <laughs> Played it for like 40 minutes. And like, <laughs> yep. I don't think all these uh, positive reviews are being entirely serious. Yeah. Well, there we go. It doesn't seem like anyone's played it for more than like a couple of hours. Apart from this person, 19 hours. Oh, he fucking loved it. Mm. Oh, well, I don't know. I haven't played it. Can Neither have I. Um, right, that's all the news that, that there ever was. Nothing else has happened in the world. Ever. Ever. Uh, we should start getting ready to play some Warhammer. It's Warhammer time. Doo -doo. Prepare for war, prepare for, for hammers. Uh, but we might need to go on a quick break. We do. It's break time. Um, and then we'll be back. We'll be reading, uh, reading your very generous messages. And we'll be going through uh, the Dwarven Empire as we commit World War Dwarf. Oh, we are about to commit World War Dwarf. I think we already did commit. We are already at war with them. We are committed. Oh yeah, so we've got, we just took the, old, the World's Edge archway and we're heading down to Mount Squighorn. But old Ungram Ironfist is coming to take Mount Gunbad. But don't we, we, so we confederated at the end of the last stream, right? Yes, we did. Look, we're losing seven grand a turn. And so, we've those got, guys just need to run over yeah, and they need to fight Ungrim. Yeah, they're on their way, but it's going to take a while. We'll be fine. We just need to be making about seven grand a turn. Okay. Well, or get some people dead. That's a sacking. That's a sacking. We'll be back. <laughs> 
We'll be see seeing you very soon. Five Bye. Minutes. these though we're always, we always like shit on people's back yeah. one still waiting but trust burn 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 tom 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 welcome everybody come somewhere there is a stream happening <laughs> Your move, creep. Oh, it is my move. Uh, yeah, it is. You're absolutely right. Let's get these marchy boys all out of march mode. Um, right, Monster's Lair. We're at war with Snitch in the east. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's a bit upsetting, isn't it? Um, no worries, mate. And <clears throat> we can't really get to them because of this cliff. Mm. So we're going to have to march up in um, encampment mode because that reduces ambush chance. Um, well, neither of them are full stacks, which is a bit worrying. Can't really afford to spend any more money, though. Yeah. I'll just see what happens. Okay, good luck. Hogo the Scourge and Monster's Lair. Godspeed. Meanwhile, Gorth Twin Humanities... Um, is also heading over there to fight the Skavens. Good luck to you. Do we need someone going like up into the top parks? Don't they border us close near the top? Uh, no, that's um, someone else. That's this guy. Uh, that's Zinch. Zinch warriors and dark elves and cursed dwarf friends. Sure. I think we're pretty safe. Okay. Neat. Neato. Uh, well, while you move some things around, I'll do a little bit of reading. Uh, uh, we have a very lovely donation from Xander of Britain. Ooh. Uh, who's the next three bucks? Thank you, Xander. Thank you. They say, Beb, Teb, and Heb. Bah! How are you both doing? Mm, I good. hope you're both well. Uh, life has been a fine blend of giga stress and good times all year. Well. Uh, so far, having you guys there. Uh, both in terms of what and life is always a comfort. Thank you, Sam. Well, oh, it's a lovely, a lovely message. I'm glad we can help. Um, in our own stupid way. Yeah, God, like in the worst way possible. Talking about just dumb shit. Just fucking garbage. Um, yeah, I hope the giga stress kind of reigns in. And uh, then it's all good times. Hooray! Well, I guess you need a bit of the stress to make you the do. good times good. That's true. And, you know, get shit done. You're not doing much when you're not, you've got no pressure at all. Oh, jeez, for sure. Man, without a bit of stress, I get nothing done. Yeah. Want, um, I wish you just the right amount of stress. Yeah. Whatever that may be for you. Who knows? Um, well, hopefully you discover a cool new pot mm. sometime soon. Like a real rad one that no one's seen before. May your trowel ho holster never rip. Mm. And your little chiseling hammer never never break something important. <laughs> uh, we also have a donation from Suro the Death. Thank you, Suro. Uh, they say, Thank you. Uh, Am I a unit or was I killed or have I got one? If don't I have a unit, give please. E give me a big cannon. That's a boom. E-give. E-give. I'm pretty sure you are something, but we have got some other units, so we can give you another thing. I think we've got some stuff that actually needs to be named. What? Uh, after the Confederation. Oh, yeah, we Confederation. do. Confederation. Confederate. Uh, and more motor. Donates 10 bucks. Need more motor. Thank you. They say Bon Tabulous Tomorific. Uh, I painted up... A catapult from Battletech. Ooh, that's one of my favorite mechs. Uh, do you have any plans for either Battletech or Star Wars Shatterpoint for Games Night? No. Uh, the latter especially would be cool since it's a new game. More narrative mm. rule set. And also they include a little picture, which I assume is going to be uh, some Battletechs. Boom! Oh, Look nice. at this boy! Oh, that's cool windows. And based. Mm-hmm. Very based. This looks great. Lovely. 
Uh, the windows look great. Very nice, nice little pop of colour in there. Mm -hmm. Some little uh, hazard stripes on your rocket pods. Ticking a lot of boxes here, sir. Very, very good. Well done, you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, but as for those games, I don't think Battletech would work great as a um, as a game night video. I'll be honest. It's, uh, it's very crunchy. It's very number based. Um, and it's hard to sort of fit in some fun character stuff. Mm. I wouldn't say never, but maybe, maybe. We'd have to come up with a cool scenario. Possibly. And as for Shatterpoint, maybe, but none of us here watched The Clone Wars. So it's hard to care about all these people we don't know anything about. Whoa, I want to be Savage Oppress. <laughs> and Evil McDeath Badman. And Dexter Jetster. <laughs> if they do a Dexter Jetster model, I'm all in. Then, yeah. I, I take I take back my cosplay. That's who I want to be. Dexter Jetster. Mm -hmm. I want Dexter Jetster and Yaddle on a team. <laughs> yeah. Fighting against fucking Savage Oppress and Firm Scissor Punch. <laughs> <laughs> and Admiral, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Admiral, bad dude. Are <laughs> uh, they showing off original trilogy characters as well? Ooh. Sounds a bit more fun. Hmm. But then it's weird to... Then you kind of have to stick to just them. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great. Yeah, if I can have, you know, Han, Luke, and Leia with a bunch of stormtroopers running around the Death Star... Sounds fucking rad. Let's do that. And a Darth Vader coming towards you and you just be like, run. You have to run. <laughs> no, he is yeah. bad. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Well, okay, they, I'll, I'll do that. I'll paint those up. God, but you're I know those characters. Did fucking Chewy dirty? Just like you don't want. Ugh, I don't want Chewy on my team. Of course I they do. Want, I just want Han, Luke, and Leia, not the disgusting and flea bag who doesn't deserve a medal because he's filthy Xenos. Yeah, and because you know he's with the droids. I didn't. Oh, I also didn't okay. mention R two and three PO, but they're there too. Fine, you can they're play the those three. I'll play <laughs> Chewy, three PO, and R two D two. There we go. Perfect. Uh, have they done a, a like a BB-8 model? Um, well, it literally hasn't even come out yet. I imagine they'll, um, you know, that'll come later if if there's enough of it. Although, is anyone attached to those characters? I'm sure some people are. Everyone loves BB-8. I'd prefer his lamp friend. Do you remember that? The eight lamp. What's, what's he called? Friend. The little like just. The snores. Oh, it's no. That guy, there. There he is. He's cool, but like, Lanky. how smart can he be? <laughs> <laughs> He's not very smart. BB-8 is a literal war winner on his own. Um, yeah. Remember that time he was like machine gunning coins into people's faces mm -hmm. and then piloted an ATST and killed yeah. everyone? Like, I think BB-8's got more kills on him than like all the other characters put together. Oh, yeah, probably. He's a fucking stone cold killer. Although BB-8 is no BB-9E. Oh, see the evil BB-8. Evil BB-8. <laughs> evil one. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking rad. It's like he's wearing a, like a cap. <laughs> yeah. Just He's just a little more evil. Yeah, he is way more evil. Uh, what about... Um, I mean, if we're, if we're saying droids, I want this droid. Oh, sad, sad bot. Sad bot. He's fucking great. Oh, God. I loved him. And he's got way more personality than any of those other guys. Because he's sad. Yeah. Wants to sit in his little recharge pod. He's not come out. Amazing. I can just relate to this guy, wait. <laughs> yeah, way. <laughs> That's who I would do. Just wants to stay in bed and be left alone. Yeah. Just <laughs> so good. Oh. <sighs> Love him. Uh, so, Leona Frosty, then it's five bucks. Thank you, Leona Frosty. Thank you. They say, Tin and Bean, uh, happy to watch you live on my day off. Ooh. A friend of mine moved in. Can you name a unit after her? Tallahassee. Oh. Uh, also, I have some boys to show off. The bases are 99.5% done. Mm. That's enough for me. I don't know. It's not done, is it? As always, no, we had a bit about this last week then. You can't <laughs> if you got 99.5% of the way to the moon, you're not, you haven't been on the moon, have you? Yeah, but if your kids, 
you know, you're like, eat your vegetables. And if they've eaten 99.5% of their vegetables, you're like... True. Sure, there's a fucking, fucking couple of crumbs on the plate. You, okay. did, you did a good... I guess it depends goal. on the thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, but the boys! Ooh! Look, blue boys! Very neat. I thought they were Crimson Fists for a moment, yeah, I but they they're not. Crimson Fists for a second, because of the shade of blue. Mmm. Uh, pow. Have a thing. They look great! Oh, you just need to paint the rims. I'd say that's less than 99.5% done. Yeah, I'd say you're like 80% done on the bases. Mm. You need to dry brush them as well. But they are cool. You finished very, your boys. Very good. Thank you very much, Leona Frosty. Well done. And congratulations to Tallahassee. Hmm. Which is a cool oh, that's nickname. Fun. Moving in together. Uh, and Half Blood. Six, four, five, five. I could never pull off a nickname like Tallahassee. Tallahassee? Yeah. No, because everyone would be like, why are you called Tallahassee? <laughs> They'd be like, yee-haw, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't pick it. Um, <laughs> Promise. Yeah. I got it at school. Like, if you're from Tallahassee, <laughs> yeah. sure. I feel like you have to be a bit of a cowboy to pull it off. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Lightning strike against the Gobbo. Why have they all got fucking lightning strike? We've got four armies here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, I mean, we shoot them and run, they I guess. They could retreat, right? Because then if they just lightning strike the other army, that other army looks like it actually does pretty good versus them. Mm. Is, why is he building so many helicopters? I'm there for it. Should we do a fight and just see if we can shoot down some helicopters and then leave? We don't actually ever let their flame torpedoes get in range. God, they actually don't have a lot of meat, do they? No, it's all flamers. I feel like Gabriel of Nottingham here, uh, Inspector Spacetime, Thordak Tinder King, and Peter are definitely going to fucking die! <laughs> uh, so I'll fight. I feel like they might take 99.5% casualties. <laughs> they will live. <laughs> after losing 99.5% of their units. But you wouldn't call them, you wouldn't say they were dead, would you? You wouldn't say they're dead, no. Because that's an absolute, and only the Sith deal in absolutes, but Only the Sith. <laughs> only the Sith deal in absolutes. That's the hard rule us, us good guys believe in. <laughs> oh... Secret masterpieces. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some times. God, you did miss in chat uh, earlier. Someone just oh, yeah. fucking dropped that live grenade. Uh, just saying... In my opinion, Clone Wars better than original trilogy. Fair just, enough. Uh, A lot of people love the Clone Wars. I cannot comment because I've only seen the movie, the uh, pilot movie, which was hot trash, and then I never watched the other seven seasons. I, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't watch them. Unless you're talking about the Gennady Tarkovsky one, which I think is actually was really good. Yeah, that was great. It's like super duper fun. I enjoyed that. It's hard to watch like back to back though, because they were designed to be like three minute clips played in between like episodes. Yeah. Of things. And when you push them all together and you watch like two hours of like fucking intense mega action back to back for three hours. Get pretty busy. All right, I'm going to fly far back because I'm hoping that they run at me. And... Someone in the chat just says, just watch the last four episodes of the final season. That sounds like a bad idea. I'd be amazed if... If you're really invested in the characters. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to care about what happens. The stakes... Uh, what is this? Why are there helicopters in my midst? Oh, wow. Fucking scout copters. Engage. Uh, how could they just deploy in my deployment zone? I have no idea. Helicopters. He well, I guess helicopters. They came from above. Helicopters pretty mobile. Uh... Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Okay, neat. Alright, do we just all try and shoot one? Oh god, they are. Bong me hard. Wow, they saw straight through this plan and just... Wow, they beelined for the archers. I, I thought our four archers were able to shoot down a couple of helicopters. Yeah, but... They, they, know, they know that's the only thing that shoots up. Yeah, <laughs> shooting up. <laughs> They've been playing Mechabellum, I think. Big advantage. Uh, oh, okay, you want to do melee? I can do a melee. God, and they're just bombing the character. Look how much damage those bombs dealt to the Lord. Jeez, wow. It's unusual for those kind of abilities to do damage to characters. Like, here's a wizard, but... They've broken the general. Fuck. Ah. So if I got that many bombs dropped on me, I'd probably be pretty mad as well. Oof. Oh. It has to be Lord or Hero. Okay. Can't even use his special dice rolling powers. No. Uh, okay. All right. Govos run off in random directions. We've got our um, off-board artillery as well. Oh, that's true. And our demons. Demons. I'm going to see if the wolf riders can get in there and... Yeah, if we can fuck up a cannon, that'll make this all worth harass it. Harass those boys. Um, Krutkin Kaldurian has donated. Hail. Thank you. And they say, Hi, Tom and Being. I've had another week of unwelcome medical surprises. Ooh. So you better be funny or else. <laughs> yeah. What? You'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you want it to be funny. That was good. That was pretty good, man. Um, it's dark. It's good. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> well, it made you laugh. Yeah. The mission accomplished. <laughs> it did make me laugh, but I laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Groot King. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're okay. I just couldn't resist dropping that bomb on Tom. It was, it was good. <laughs> oh. Very good. Uh, I hope everyone else is doing better. Ah... I am now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking rip. Oh, no, seriously, yeah, I hope you're okay. Thank you very much. It doesn't mean that. It's not as good for the joke, is it, though? Uh, <laughs> no. Anyway. Just being real nice to everyone all the time is not very funny. No, uh, not at all. No, it's good. It's good precedent to set. You know, mm -hmm. you run the risk on spin the wheel when you do the donation. That's It'll it. It'll be just fucking horrible. <laughs> That's it. Now, now you know. You're prepared. Anyone who donates, you know, there's yeah. a chance that that's how it goes. Uh, and now you know. I was hoping the gobos could hold them up so we could drop the bomb. Uh, oh, yeah. I completely forgot about the bomb. Do a little bit of damage to them, but not really that much. Mm. Oh, the bomb takes a long fucking time to come down. Wow. Uh, oh, it's not bad. Half a unit of dwarfs, take that. Uh, okay, all of their helicopters are dead. Okay, well, mission accomplished. We can leave. We're legally allowed to leave. Legally, we're allowed to leave. Uh, sure. Uh, not skirmish mode. Withdraw. Fine, just run. Oh god, actually, do we want to withdraw? Like, we might be able to kill another unit or two. Yeah, we'll lose a lot of gobos. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, we're losing money at the moment. <laughs> Warriors are rallying. Brave gobos! Also, these gobos aren't going to die because they rout instantly. Yeah, they're literally never going to die. I just feel like we are... I, I think we'll lose a lot of boys here if we I engage. I just want to try and kill 
another unit. Oh, the flamethrowers! Oh my god! It's disgusting goblins, Ben. <laughs> if they were supposed to live, they would have had some kind of scheme, but... Oh, that's true. We're just weeding out the, the, the not schemey ones. Yeah. You guys can try another. Oh, God! <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it at all, Tom. Look, I'm trying to help other goblins, <laughs> because these dwarves might scrub out like a page from the Book of Grudges uh, if we uh, get a couple of gobbos dead. Uh, Macho Deputy has donated. $10, thank you very much. You hope this one dies as well? I don't hope anyone will die, Tom. That's not what I said. Oh. Don't misquote me. Um, bomb, 10. Your streams are helping me get through engineering exams. Keep it up. Good news, though. I managed to get my hands on some metal gold Games Workshop dice. Ooh. Yes, yes. Congratulations. Ooh. I've got some of those as well. Mmm. Pretty cool. I want some. I don't have any. Pretty cool. I'm jealous. Well done. How do you get hold of them? What's the scheme? I think you had to go and you had to spend like 60 pounds or something. And then you oh, could right. buy on a them on a Flappatron. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or, you know, buy some Millisaurs and buy one extra Millisaur <laughs> to go with your uh, existing two and... Yeah, holy shit. Holy fuck, mate. Man, we came out of that so much better than those dwarves did. Yeah, technically a defeat, but man, I will take endless defeats like this uh, all day long. We lost some gobbos and some hobgobbos. Not even very many, really. I mean, who? Inspector Space Time took the biggest hit, but everyone will be okay. Meanwhile, we shot down all their helicopters and the cannon and a unit of torpedoes. Amazing work. Why was one of those helicopters taking no damage? Because it just didn't come into the fight. I guess not. Mm, it did. Mm. Mm. Weird. We almost lost. Um, yeah, as they just hovered motor. above and just dropped bombs. We'll have to watch out for that. Oh, now Ungrim is attacking the town we took. Fine. That's, God, that's a lot of slayers, isn't it? They lost a lot of guys. Yeah, they really messed up that fight. <laughs> yeah. I guess we still got all of our off-board artillery into their own. Oh, okay, sure. Neat. Yeah, good luck with your exams. You can do it. This is the last hurdle. Uh, so Anita wants to be a defensive ally? Sure. We should start teaming up. Uh, Everyone's yeah, at war I guess with us anyway. They're already at war with like all the bad boys um, that we don't want to go to war with, so... That's sort of fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he didn't follow up after that battle. What a dingus. With lightning strike. Uh, Mormoto's basically already healed it all. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Who wants the honors? Wiping them out. We can send in Sambras. No, send in Astrogoth because I want to fire cannons at dwarves. Oh, yeah. Okay, do you want another stack as well for funsies? Uh, is it better to have them, like, pushing on somewhere? Because I don't think they need the help. Okay, we'll send Yubnub down to Black Crag. Yubnub. It is Yubnub. Uh, so, Leo Garn donates 3 bucks 69 Thank you, Leo Garn. Thank you. They say, hello, Tomo and Benno. Hello. Greetings and puss puss. Uh, local store is having a competition this weekend, so I'll show you my tiny toys first. One is a homage to your campaign. Ooh. In other news, Poland sucks. Uh, Poland does Poland suck. does suck. My allergies. My allergies. It, yeah, got it. Hits me bad. Yeah, I hate it. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's that some good painting. Is a very pretty, very pretty Chaos Dwarf. Ooh, and a God. fancy Praetor, too. Looking real good. These are beautiful. Yeah. These are excellent paint jobs. Very, very nice. Nicely done. Uh, do we want a hill? Always. Remember, they lost their cannon. they got to come to us. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm doing a 
kind of stupid deployment. <laughs> I'm just worried about... About helicopters. Wow, it's like the inverted square. Yeah, it's because I just don't want them to fly above my cannons. <laughs> uh, drop bombs. Drop bombs. Wow, okay. Turn skirmish mode off as well. Oh, yeah. We just need to fucking do that in the options. We do. Just do that now. Um, Default skirmish mode. No. I hate it. Okay, done. We still have to actually do it as well. Cool. James has donated. Thank you, James. James! So you've been a Vodgobo for a while. I played from second ed, 40k, up to fifth. And you recently got me back into it. I'm going to buy Tau Mex for 10th edition. Ooh. That's basically what I played. Yeah. Second until fifth was like... Kind of like the sort of same with me. Hmm. Maybe I was like stopped more around fourth. Hmm. It was like the Cities of Death and stuff like that. Was that 4th Ed? Yeah, I think that was 4th Ed. Maybe 5th. Maybe you stopped out like early 5th. Oh, maybe, yeah, because I guess the additions probably ran a bit longer. 3rd, 4th, and 5th were all pretty similar anyway. Mm. Wasn't much difference. Well, one was uh, Las Cannon Plasma Marines in Rhinos, six man squads. That was like fucking king. Yeah. Was that 4th? And then 5th, that wasn't as popular. And maybe I was playing. A bit of that, and then stopped. I can't remember. Mm. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like there's a surprise helicopter for me to worry about. No. Is he coming? Oh, he's yeah, coming for us. Yeah, he's Brilliant. Um, oh, I saw an amazing Tau mech army that I want to show you after that. Um, after which, after this battle, it was on eBay. I got like popped up when I was looking for something else. And um holy shit, it looked ace. Let me get it up now so I don't forget. Um Right, here we go. Uh, we'll come back to that, hopefully, if I remember. Have we haven't tried the Dreadquake Mortar yet, no. We haven't built the, the big artillery house, so if we have, we haven't had the money to build it. No, but I would like to try it. This sounds very nice. Boom. Oh, but these, these ones just seem like the best. Yeah. Boom. Let's put some more shots into there. Right. Seeing as their characters are walking past. Oh. Mm. These do make the other war engines look like shit. Yeah. Like, I bet if you fired all three at one, like, packed regiment, that would just completely annihilate them. Look at that! One shot has taken 50% of their health off. It's pretty legit. Uh, I'm kind of tempted just to throw these guys down as a speed bump to get more shots. Sure, do it. I haven't got any artillery, so... Oh, oh my god! Okay, I kind of do want to peck each of these units a little bit. Oh. <laughs> what <laughs> was that? Helicopters? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Apparently the Dreadquakes do a massive movement debuff on the enemy. Oh, a couple of those in there. that sounds really nice. You just shoot them all day long. They might not even make it into combat at this rate. Mm. Don't be that bold. Is there any chance like this monster's immune to fire? Nope. <laughs> you can breathe fire though. Bam. These guys. God, the friendly fire is Ooh. heavy. God, even their characters are getting wrecked. My boys are getting 
pretty dinged up. I didn't think you could do friendly fire when you're not in melee. Apparently you definitely can. Oh my god, the ATAR. Look at him. You've got to get him out of there. That's right, he's getting himself out of there. He can run. I kind of feel bad for these dwarves now. No, Ben. They're just like us, Tom. No, Ben. They've got little dwarven hearts. No, these... Ugh, bad. They turn their backs on us. We turn our backs on them. Yeah, we definitely killed more of our own guys than they have. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> <laughs> like, it feels a bit worse when it's, uh, you know, we don't have Chod to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, when well, there's no... No hobgoblins to take the hits for us. Yeah. Oof. Let's just pull those guys back. <laughs> oh. They didn't even mind it that much. Neat. Wipe them out. Flammer, take that. Mm. Well, good job. Let's do some quick maths here. 8, 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 21. 33 kills from his army. But we somehow lost 142 men. <laughs> Oh, that's like a four to one K KDR. <laughs> yeah, we did a lot better. <laughs> yeah. We're way better at killing Chaos Dwarfs than you are. Um, I'll Very good job. Holy shit. Wow. Joe, worst cannon ever. But shit ass. <laughs> Best cannon ever. Shit ass. Pretty good. <laughs> well done. Who else done good? Uh, Real Nash T. God, like, we killed more of... Those blunderbusses killed more of our own Chaos Dwarves than they did kill actual dwarves. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> Feels bad. We need to leave bigger gaps <laughs> to shoot through. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, uh, we'll take the money. Yeah. We need the money. All right, so I've just got to tab out, find this... Um, this Tau army. Um, uh, Cyber Punk Tau army. Oh, I think I saw these. Saw these the other day. Um, I just, I fucking love that Megabot in the middle with like the shield drone head. Yeah, it's really cool. And all the missiles like shooting out of its shoulders and everything. That looks amazing. I wish that's what the real model looked like. Mega rail cannon. I yeah, thought this would be like your vibe. Yeah, I really, really like it. Although all the conversions look, they make the battle suits look so much cooler than the real models are. Yeah, way more tech. Uh, I like this sort of squashed up devil fish too. It looks way cooler. But also like it l looks really like mobile. Like it is like mm. swooping in like a drop ship rather than like a flying bus. <laughs> <just> like, yeah. <laughs> It feels like it can like articulate in any direction it yeah, needs to go, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's really cool. That thing's amazing. I think it's just the super striking color scheme that does it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I don't know. I just love it. I love a mech firing a million missiles at once. Yeah, that's always a great, a great kind of vibe. Yeah, it's real nice. Very pretty. It's pretty pricey though. Did you spot how much it cost? Like four grand. Yeah, something like that. I guess it's hard to argue. They've obviously spent a long time on it. Yeah. Oh, stealth. Amazing. Stealthed up real nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. Like a really fun, fun color scheme. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Pricey. 
I see. <laughs> Even in debt, you still serve. Oh <laughs> nice. Uh, so, Black Sheep donates 30 bucks. Thank you, Black Sheep. Oh, thank you. That's very generous. They say, Ryan and George. Mm. Uh, being a half-breed Vodgobo today. Uh, they got me. Off to sell my car to some shady bloke who might take my orders. Ooh. Who can tell? Well, till then, chop me up. Wah. Wah. Uh, well, good luck. Um, I hope you get a good price for all your organs. Yep, don't take less than a hundred bucks. Mm, yeah, def yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope to get a bit more. Well, yeah, me too. I don't know what the going rate for an organ is these days. Oh, God. Uh, more than you'd think, less than you'd hope. Yeah. I'm going to guess. Yeah, like, you know, sell off a, sell off a kidney. Buy a tower army. <laughs> you could. It's true. Oh, could I, I wish I, there was just a button I could click to just say, redistribute. Yeah, it's just sort it out for me. Look. You see, I've got that button. Look. <laughs> ben. Ben, do it. Do the boring bit, do Ben. The bit. Take all the people out of the places where they're Look, not meant to be. You love spreadsheets. And then put them in the places that they are meant to be. Like here. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it could just be a... Just balance. Balance yeah. it button. Just... Fuck Otherwise, it's just a load of it. clicking. Uh, well, as you just click random buttons. Uh, Inspector Space Time. Doing three bucks. Thank you, Inspector Space Time. Cool, thank you. So, Tom and Ben, please give my orc labor chump the joys of hard labor. Also, this. They send an image. I'm going to check. Ooh. Oh, you did a cool Abaddon. Let me post that. That's very nice. Doing and the, based. And based. Well done. Super cool. Base looks great. He looks great. You've got a bit of glow on the face, which is real nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, you've even got like the, the planet in his hand. Ah, oh, that's Kadia. Like the old art. It's not standing now, is it? Whoa, oh, me check Kadia. <laughs> it's really nice. Very well done. Oh, wrong oh, link. Did the wrong oh, link. Fuck my balls. The base isn't done. Okay, it's nearly more done than some bases we've seen. It's more done than a lot of bases we've seen. Mm. There you go. Try that link again. But yeah, it's looking super rad. Very cool. Real, real fun. Thank you for sharing. The brass on the base looks super good. That yeah. oxidization. It's a really good paint, actually, that like oxidized paint they sell. I recommend. Thank you. The orc claw. Scratch built. Really? Ooh. Oh, very neat. What a... Oh, you should look, look like your friends are like, that's always fun. You know, if you've got a red Oh, uh, yeah, I like that. Be like, your guys are already dead on <laughs> my bases. I've killed some already. <laughs> yeah, you've got to, you've got to paint your, your dead guys like your opponents. Guys. Do a little, a little taunt. It's much more fun. Uh, so, ADD Ape. I uh, think it's 50 bucks, thank you. Ooh. They say, hello, Tomothy the Tough and Benedict the Benevolent. Oh. Uh, I'm going on a work trip for a few weeks just outside London. Any fun things I should do or anything I should be aware of before Ooh. entertaining entering the British realm? Mm. Love your work. Uh, I've not been to London for a long time. How about Greg's? Yeah. Um, Got a chicken bake <laughs> at Greg's. No, sausage cheese bean melt. Clearly the, the superior Greg. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize that ADD ape was a loser. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought they were like a cool person. Um, wow. But yeah, didn't, didn't instantly know. Um, 
Yeah, like, I've not spent a lot of time in London for ages. Like, the last few times it's just been, like, zipping up and then coming back. Mm, uh, usually just changing trains. <laughs> That's yeah. That's all I do in London. Or, like, in, like, an event for a bit, and then you're mm. just out immediately. And Yeah. Yeah, tricky. Don't know. Uh, museums. Right? Uh, there's really good museums there. Uh, always a safe bet. And like the galleries are pretty good, if that's what you're into. Uh, or look at that Greg's chicken bake. <laughs> Which one's the best Greg's in London? Oh man, <laughs> there must be like a thousand Greg's in London, right? Yeah, it's got this, like so many in Bristol. <laughs> yeah, Bristol's like ten percent of the size yeah, of London, and if that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I don't really know. It's probably our pub. Go to our pub. Mm-hmm. Good shout. Recommend. Um, what is Greg's? Technically, it's a bakery. It's a, that's doing a disservice to bakeries everywhere. <laughs> it's just like a way of life. They'll sell you a sausage roll. Doing more against them. No. There's a chaos factions. Who is Greg? Mm. When is Greg? Is it Mr. Greg or Greg Gregson? Greg Gregson. Yeah. I think so. so. I don't think there's an apostrophe in it. I don't think it belongs to Greg's. I think it's more of a they are the Greg's. It's like a team of Greg's. Mm. You know? Could not tell you. They don't have sausage rolls in America. Of course they do. What the fuck? They probably just call them something dumb. Oh, hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. It's not. One is bread. The other is pastry. One's a sandwich. The other isn't. Is a sausage roll not a sandwich? Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. No, sausage roll's not a sandwich. It hasn't got any bread in it. Ice cream sandwich. Have I got bread? No. Well, that's why they have to specify sandwich. Otherwise, everyone would call them a liar. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. It is, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, so, Xenon <laughs> donates nine bucks. Thank you, Xenon. Thank you, Xenon. I say, Ben and Tomb. I stayed up till 2 a.m. to let Ben know that I'm loving the Games Night videos. Ooh, thank I, you. I became a member just to watch the latest members only video. Ooh. You're doing an amazing job with the editing and flow of the story. Keep it up. And good night. Nice. Well, it's not me editing it. I've got to call out. Um... No, it's Ben. Ben does it all. Ben plays all the parts. Uh, yep. I, I, have a, I have a Lewis puppet, a Dapirian puppet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I write down their scripts. Yeah. And they follow them precisely. Wow. Um, Alex Turner has been doing the filming and the editing, and he's been doing a fantastic job. He's a great boy. Mm-hmm. And um, Tom recorded one recently with me. What? That was fun. It was very good. So you're going to see that soon, hopefully. Uh, ooh. Oh, there's some skeleton oh. fighting. There. Hello, Queek. Oh. Are we at war with him? I don't think we are. <laughs> it's at that point in the campaign where you're like, are we at war with these people? <laughs> We're at war with a lot of people. We are at war with a lot of people. I'm gonna uh, just gonna leave that one to Queek, I guess. Don't need to fight another major power. I feel like right we now. might need to go and help. Maybe. Uh, Setsuo donates five bucks. See, Setsuo. Thank you. They say, Tom and Ben, a local shop is doing a painting cup, and I might just. Oh, I might join with this SOB. <gasps> Sister of Battle. No, son of a bitch. Oh, um, you son of a bitch. I accept basing tips. Also, after years of searching, I found the latest retail price 8th ed SOB dice set. The unreadable ones. Ooh. Plus some more recruits. Um, the latest Sister of Battle dice. I don't, oh, they have. It was the confusing. The symbol was. Is it a 1 or a 6? Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, it's erotic. Your link is erotic. <laughs> um, looking real cool. I really mm. like the color scheme. It's super, super fun. 
That is cool. Let me post it. I just in the screen because I don't know why it was like this is 18 rated. No, That's there's fine. nothing lewd there. No, nothing too too horny. Oh, those Sister of Battle dice. Oh, oh with all the flutterlies. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of flurs. They're pretty good. I think they're fun to use as like your faith faith dice or something. Yeah, something that doesn't need to be glanced at. Or rolled and worked out yeah. in like a pinch. Jeez, that's a big bubble. Oh, Hellstorm rocket battery. That's kind of fun. Ooh, the Empire has sent some rockets to help. And some flatulence. Ooh. Go, okay, going in. It's pretty good. So this was we were going to lose this battle until I did the old locked door. Oh, classic. And then he couldn't get his reinforcements out of his house. What a dingo. What a dingus. Yeah, those are some great SOBs. Those SOBs. Though I guess they're ASs now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw a funny thread, a funny thing of people talking about, you know, um, Drakari. Oh, yeah. But, like, oh, people call them, like, I still kind of call them Dark Eldar. Yeah, I still the call them Dark Eldar. Um, and there's the Eldari, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, we'll probably still, still call them Eldar. Sure. Uh, but it was someone calling the Drukari, the Dark Eldar, calling them Dark Eldari. <laughs> and just <laughs> upsetting every single person <laughs> in one go. Oh, I was like, that's a that's a fun way to refer to them. <laughs> like the, the astral guard. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, perfect. <laughs> well the Imperial Militarum. <laughs> Imperial Militarum doesn't sound doesn't sound as terrible. <laughs> I don't hate that one as so much. God, this is not a good hill. Space Astartes. Do we just get really far back? This is like a hilarious little Oh. You can't fit your whole army in there. No, I just Tom. want my cannons on there. <laughs> oh, clearly that's impossible. What, why are you even trying? There's not an inch of open space there, Tom. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so. Okay, you wanted more sensible deployments. Uh, you can keep, keep reading, I'm going to be mm. clicking buttons for a bit. What's up with all the gold space marines on Earth after getting back into the hobby? They were always there. They were and always they're not, there. Uh, they're not actually space marines. <laughs> they're a different blend. Yeah, they're like a, like a homebrew. Mm. Uh, they, they've always been there. They were never allowed to leave uh, their house mm. until Robute turned up and went, Yo, stop fucking around. Help! Help us! <laughs> Please! Stop, zip, stop riding your jet bikes up and down the corridors. <laughs> yeah, you guys, that is not allowed anymore. Like, hmm, fine, we'll go and kill him with it. Put some fucking clothes on! <laughs> oh yeah, they were naked before. <laughs> well, I guess they had pants on. And big sexy boots. They did. Okay, do I need... Reserve guns, just in case. No. No helicopters today. Uh, they might actually outrange me, right? Uh, oh, well, the rockets definitely do. I don't know about the organ guns. Yeah, the organ guns don't have mega range. God, I wish that I had their hill. Yeah, they definitely got the better hill. we have got two new armies turning up in a minute, so... Should be all right. Yeah, I just don't want to get mega rocketed. We can drop demons on them, but I'd rather not have to. Uh, Lightsaber Expert Zeta has donated. That's the nice lady we were talking to on the internet earlier. Okay. Do you remember? We thought they were a bot, but then we decided they were not a bot. Okay, great. Yeah, and I they remember them. <laughs> they were very kind. They were. And they say, hi Tom and Ben, sorry being late this week. I was nursing my eight starving infants 
when these fucking idiots started chatting about <laughs> the lore accuracy of Tompa lightsabers. Oh, that sounds rough. Yeah. So stressed out right now, some people fail fish. Wow. Although surely, in the time that you were distracted, they must have already been starving, right? Yeah, they didn't just go from healthy and cared for to starving Although within there, a minute. there has to be a point where you go from Check. hungry to starving. There has to be yeah, a, there's a... There's a tipping point. A sure. scientific... Like, there is a second mm. where you're like, oh... Like, don't worry about giving Ben any help. He's just hungry. He's, he's just he's just hungry. And now, like, Ben is starving. Ben <laughs> is starving. Like, Yeah, RimWorld knows where that is. Yeah, goes. there's a, a defined point in that. <laughs> uh, so, maybe they were just on the cusp of that. I'm sorry. Take it back. Mm. Take them to Greg's stat. <laughs> Perfect. I prescribed five cc's of sausage roll. Mmm, delicious. Liquidized sausage roll. Ooh. Would you drink a blended sausage roll drink? I'd try it. Mm. I can't imagine it was it would be good. <laughs> no. But I'd give it a go. <laughs> I feel like it'd just be real stodgy. Maybe we should do that. Maybe that's a um a members video where all we try lending up Greg's. All the different fast foods and you gotta pick your favourite. Or try to identify them. Which one of these milkshakes That's was a Big Mac? That's fucking jokes. That's a good idea, Ben. Which one of these was a chicken KFC thing? Okay, like, you, do you just mix it with, like, water? Is the idea, like, you take the thing and you mix it with half a or cup of water? Or you take the meal and blend and the whole thing up. And pour the drink in that you get with the meal and blend it. That sounds a bit more horrific. <laughs> yeah, that sounds does, a, bit more, a bit more gross. <laughs> Okay, well, whatever, whatever it takes to get you to do it. <laughs> okay, because I do hate doing things, but mm. that sounds kind of funny. I don't think it was just mixed with water. I think it's the most scientific way to do... Yeah, because I think actually they'd all taste quite the same if they were all just chips and colas. And... Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do it with water. And we'll have, like, the Whopper, the Big Mac, some KFC, some Greggs. Oh, geez. What else? Fish and chips? To be whichever one tasted the most vinegary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess it will taste very fishy as well. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go to them. Which means some people are going to have to bear the brunt of the attack. So what else is missing from that list? What's like an iconic... Like uh, there's food? now like a... You now get Taco Bell in Bristol. Really? I haven't seen that. Um, I saw someone arguing the other day that a hot dog is a taco. Oh, God, like... Because it's, like, shaped. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> Jeez, look, I know I rant on about dice and fucking toy soldiers <laughs> and stuff, but come on. Got to draw the line somewhere, Jeez, right? Jeez, <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Talk about something else. Get an interest. Get a hobby. That's what I say. That's what I say to them. Yeah. Get a cool hobby like us. Get a cool <laughs> hobby like dice collecting and toy soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Then we can talk. Uh, yeah. That's what I say to you. Mm. Uh, right. Hobgobos, you're probably the least valuable thing I have here. So uh, off to the front lines. You can go and get yourselves cannon. I think you mean rocket fodder. Yeah. The sausage rolls counts as a hobby. Yeah, yeah, if you're making like artisanal sausage rolls, for sure. Mm. Sex Wedge has donated. Sex Wedge. They say, Tom, Ben, what is your favorite character of Warhammer Fantasy and or 40k? Kremlo. Kremlo not included. As we all know, he is the most important character. Fuck. <laughs> Kragnos. <laughs> How dare you? You Look, can't just go from one end of the spectrum to the other. Look, you Jesus. know. They're from they're two sides of the same coin. <laughs> They've both always been there. <laughs> well, so here are some minis I have painted. Kremlo space. Ah. Uh no, I'd say maybe Skarsnik. Yeah, Skarsnik is a good boy. Skarsnik is a lot of fun. 
He's a schemer. We both like him. He's a schemer. He's got a he's got a gobbler. And I like that he's a shitty goblin that can beat like legitimately good like tacticians because he's got schemes. <laughs> yeah. They never see him coming. Yeah, and I always it's a lot of fun, you know. And he's got to lead an army of goblins which are shit. <laughs> yeah. And yet he's still one of the one of the best warlords in the world. Yeah, which is pretty good. It's like kind of a fun you know, he's coming at this with a serious handicap of only having goblins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like your minis. Your minis are great. I love the skeleton Controls dragon. The skeleton dragon looks fucking rad. Very cool. Super, super neat. Um, who else? Who else is cool? Who's a 40k guy we like? Um, uh, Toddy. Toddy's kind of fun. Toddy's good. I mean... It's more the personality we've given him <laughs> the, is good. The, <laughs> our internal version of Toddy is yeah. better than Toddy in the Law. Toddy in the Law is actually real boring. He's kind of just another Empire general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Farsight's cool. I like a bit of Farsight. I thought the question was Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, and all 40k. Oh, to be honest, most of my favorite characters are probably still fantasy ones. Mm. Um... God, my mind's gone blank. I can't remember half the characters now. Most of the Skaven guys are good fun. Yeah. I like a Thankwal. Thankwal's like, great. I like He's a Snitcher really and a Claw. Um, Grom. Grom the Porch. Yeah. Also fun boy. <laughs> yeah, he is good. I like Nagash. Nagash is pretty cool. I read his like background book. Nagash Origins. That was fun. I liked it. Wow. They, like, do not want to shoot these fucking hobgobos. They don't want to waste their rockets, Tom. Yeah. They know your schemes. <laughs> I got schemes, Ben. <laughs> How much can we bait them? Because I just need to get them into cannon range. Just about there. Hmm. Do they feel the same way about archers? <laughs> hmm. You're just going to work your way up the tiers of infantry. <laughs> yeah, to see what they'll actually commit to. Hmm. Um, I, I started reading a new 40k book the other day. Yeah? Um, do you remember Eisenhorn? Yes. So we, most people who've read a lot of books have read like the Eisenhorn books. They're good. They're, one, they're some of the better 40k books. And um, I hadn't read them for like 20 years. I read them when they first came out and quite enjoyed them. And I always knew there was a spin-off series about Ravana by the same author in the same sort of style. And he's basically, what if Professor X was a grim, dark inquisitor? Okay. Um, but man, I am not getting into it. Oh. Um, I just keep finding my, because I'm listening to it on an audio book. I keep just tuning out and doing other things and not paying attention to it. Shit, it's that's not, not good. Not grabbed me at all. That's not a good day. I it looks like a surefire thing, but I'm not rating it at all. Mm. It's a cool concept. Professor X, he's a fun boy. Yeah, it's like a this guy gets like properly horrifically like mutilated in an explosion and is stuck in a like a life support chair, but he's mega psychic. Okay. Um, but I'm like halfway through the book and I don't even really know it's like an investigation it's meant to be like this sort of like noir like detective story where they're trying to hunt down some drug dealers but I don't know why or what or it's just lurching from one action scene to another action scene oh and his whole team are just the coolest fucking guys you've ever seen <laughs> okay you know there's the the sexy assassin who's psychic. Ooh. And there's the big burly muscle man who's real strong and good with guns. And then there's the other sexy psychic assassin. <laughs> okay, nice. And the, I, <laughs> I don't know, they all just feel like everyone's first character like role play party, you know? Okay, just the most Oh, okay, they do not care for archers. That has been proven. Uh Right, I think I'm most worried about rockets at the moment. OK, 
Okay, are, are the cannons in range? They are almost in range. <laughs> Got chat's attention. They want to know what this book is again. Oh, uh, what's the one with... Uh, <laughs> uh, where was the sexy... Uh, <laughs> where was the one with the sexy uh, assassin bed? <laughs> no, yeah. um, can you just, uh, just give me the name? Hey, there's, uh, there's one bit where she has to infiltrate a circus. And so she becomes like a trapeze artist. But oh. they're, they're all nude with gold spray paint. Uh, for the, you know, because of the circus. Oh yeah, could you? Oh, what was the name? <laughs> what was the name of this book again, Ben? I just really, oh, I just really want to get into more forty people. <laughs> you fucking perverts! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I've got your number. Uh, See, I think I'm just gonna give up on it. Shit. Uh, I've been reading uh, the War Boss. But, oh, yeah. And I'd say it's okay. Like, it's fun because it's orcs, but I don't rate it super highly. Yeah, I mean, it's probably hard to be better than the Gazgal book. I think, like, that book was so fucking good. Um, and this one like it's pretty short but it feels like they're trying to tell too big a story in it hmm. for how uh, how uh, actually long it is um, and so everything just feels like really fast and it's just like then this thing happened and then this thing happened and then boom it's at the end and it's like wow shit also there is like I'm reading the final fight and it's probably about 30% of the book. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, That's probably a bit too long for one battle scene. Uh, yeah, especially seeing as a lot of the other stuff was kind of kind of fun, kind of interesting. Um, oh, wow. One of the cannons just fucking hit a helicopter dead on. Blammo! Eat shit, but then the fire fell on my boys. Oh, no. Not good for them. Uh, did not really shut down their artillery very well. No, I bet the cannons mess them up, though, right? Because they'll stand in the fire. Uh, my, my, my cannons are not going to be in range. Oh, yeah. Good point. Um, Butthoofer has donated twice. What the hell, Butthoofer? Thank you, Butthoofer. And they say, hello, gents. Well, the Gitz army slowly coming together as I finished my loon shrine and just wanted to share, as always, Worship Frog. Worship Frog. Worship Frog. Indeed. Uh, just realized I forgot to send the link, so here's another dono. Have oh. fun killing my unit, Worship Frog. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's have a look at it. Uh, ooh, that's a cool loon shrine. Oh, uh, that looks ace. The little squig looks great. Oh, I love it. All the little mushrooms all over the base look cool. Yeah, that's really fucking good. Very nice. Have you like made some of that yourself, or is that what the real model looks like? I can't remember. I, f I think the... I feel like it's like homemade. Yeah, it feels like the... Rocks are homemade. I like it. Looks bigger and cooler. Is that where the gobos come out of the cave? Yeah. Naughty gobos. I do enjoy a gobo. Very much, Batufa. LT King G has also donated and says Tom Ben, a few weeks ago I blundered my bus and died. I understand if I have lost my gun license. Oh. I offer painted Necrons I got for 9th edition. Only to be put off by the 9th edition version of reanimation protocols. Uh, well, there's a 10th edition coming soon. That's true. Although I've heard a lot of Necron players complaining about the, the new animation protocols. Yeah, but that's just Necron players, right? <laughs> we used to rule the galaxy and then we went to sleep and now all these people are on our lawn. Wow, wow, wow. Grumpy <laughs> exactly. old man. Yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> Necrons, right? Yeah. As far as I understand. We used to be broken and now we're not. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, nice Necrons, though. You don't see red Necrons very often, do you? Oh, they're cool. I like them. And you've done your bases. Very good. Cool. Thank you, 
you for sharing your minis. Very nice. They literally did the bases an hour ago. Oh, oh. they want to get shouted at. Well, well done. It's working, Tom. It's working. <laughs> Could not be more proud. They grow up so fast. Mm. I think the um, Necron Combat Patrol is getting changed. Because I tried to look it up the other day. Because my boy was talking about Necrons. Um, about wanting to paint some. Because um, we, I got one. Like when we got that, that magazine. I picked up like the intro magazine. Oh, okay. Um, and it came with like uh, Spaceman my Dark Angels army, and then uh, there was like a Necron character that came with it too. Oh, okay. cool. So I gave that to him to paint. And um, so I was like, oh, maybe maybe he could do like a combat patrol, and we could play like some games of that together if the rules are fun. Yeah. So I looked it up, and it's not on the web store anymore. The Necron combat patrol's like disappeared. Ooh, okay. So I think they're getting a new one for the new edition. Which makes sense, because it had a, the old one had a fucking flyer in it, which yeah, is like probably... Yeah, croissant in there. Yeah, which probably doesn't work with the new... New game mode, I don't know. Mm. And it didn't have any Necron Warriors in it. Oh, yeah, that is a bit wacky for... Uh, Combat Patrol. Oh, we didn't post your link. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get your, your red crons. I thought I did. Can we catch? Yeah. Flat, flat, flat. God, Bull Centers are real big now, huh? Yeah, big fellas. They're not actually hitting anyone. No, just bonking them. Bonk. Okay. Uh, Prim Boss has also donated. Thank you very much. Prim Boss. And they say, probably not Ben, Tom, and probably not Tom, Ben. I emerge from the vodka pile, a fully formed stream vermin. Nice. I want to thank you both for reigniting my love for Warhammer on your streams. So welcome. Please put my name on something crunchy. Grimlow came from space. You got those. Who do you reckon's crunchy in our army? Little gobos. Oh, all them bones. Um... Mm. Uh, it's like a Chaos Dwarf. They, uh... Wow. That's a lot of kills. It's like, who died? The Taurus got a bit messed up. He, he went on, like... A bit less life. Oh, it was just the Hobgobos. Remember the people I sent in? It was like, oh, they're probably yeah. shot. Okay, great. That's what they're here for. I Honestly, don't mind very much. They're basically the punching bags of the team, aren't they? The um, the sneaky gits, fucking, oh, yeah. they took on two units of dwarves and did Ooh. pretty fucking good against them. Okay. Uh, like that. With very little help. Um, actually, quite impressed by those guys. Hmm. Well, well done, man with no name and Melancy. Very cool. Got to take the money. We ain't got any money. Dwarven Dread. Ooh. Uh, so K Short. Don't these five bucks? K Short. Thank you. They say, Tom Ben, I love the streams. I just learned today that my wife got accepted to grad school in the UK. Ooh. Any tips for an American moving there for the first time? Congratulations. Maybe any board game shops to check out. Uh, yeah, if anyone starts talking about your pants, they don't mean your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, be warned. That's a good tip. <laughs> um, go to Greg's. Uh, <laughs> it's lovely this time of year. I don't know where you're moving to, so it's hard to <laughs> recommend game shops. Um, yeah. Where? Where in the UK? Uh, but congratulations. Yeah, it's a lovely place. Rot row. Oh, we're getting ambushed. Better. Better give the gleaming pendant out before everyone screams. You ready to fight Agracia? Yeah. 
Is it just him? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Let's find okay. out. Uh, most towns have got a game shop in the UK. They're pretty common. Yeah. Um, oh, reinforcement army. Because the thing is, people in the UK don't really like to travel anywhere. Yeah. So with the US, you might drive for three hours to get to your nearest game shop. But over here, we'll be like, <laughs> it's more than half an hour away. I'm not. Yeah, like fuck that. So you get lots of small game shops. Very few big ones. Yeah. Quite a lot of little ones. Ooh. Oh, wait. It depends wow. on how much of the stuff is it's super stealth. lush and green down here. We haven't seen this before. This must be cafe. Wild. Uh, do they have a load of sneaky hidden guys? Uh, well, they've got some catapults in the woods. They're getting reinforcements from up there. They must have guys in the woods. That, those woods are probably full. They just haven't like appeared yet. Impossible or not? Mm. Really on the map. Unclear. Oh, it can't be because they're they're running down that. Oh yeah! Wow. A wild, another wild game. Uh, yeah, I got to do some clicking so you can do some reading. Yeah. Uh, heroically average has donated. Thank you very much. And they say, time for battle gun with Rex and Boone. Ended up diving back into Red Dead Redemption 2 over the weekend. And man, is it a good time. You two would fit right in with your facial hair, your pair of scraggly old cowboys. What? Kremlo, yee hard in space. Oh, well, that's why they call me Tallahassee. <laughs> nice. Okay, it's coming true. We're making it work. Okay. There's more boys. There's a lot more boys. God, you guys actually need to come this way. I never played Red Dead because it's one of those games that... Like, I only have a couple of hours a week for playing games, and I feel like I wouldn't get anything done in Red Dead in that time. Uh, it's like a life sim, almost. It It's amazing. It's really good. Highly recommend. Um... Wow, they've got a lot of shooting. There's a lot of shooties. Back our Corsairs. What the fuck? You mother truckers. Okay, hating artillery. But I don't have too many. Well, we can always demon boy them. Demon boy. Death runners. Fuck, the Hell Cannon is getting absolutely owned by all of that shooting. Shit the bed. Jeez, Hell Cannons do not like getting shot at all. No. What are they shooting us with? I thought it was all like slingers and crap. Yeah, it is, but there's a lot of them. Everyone sling. Wow. Sling, sling, any, sling, sling, any, sling, sling, through. I will kill your Hellcat and crew. <laughs> sling, sling, it is. Sling, <laughs> sling, it is. Sling, sling, slurry. Uh, slurry. You have no Hellcat and fuck you. <laughs> yes, that's the. <laughs> yes, I love that verse. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it's demon time. Demon time. I think we can maybe fight a bit of a, a retreat out of here. Because their reinforcements are coming on downwind. Oh, great. Yeah, we'll just leave them behind. Mm. Uh, Anson Hacks has donated. 12 bucks. Thank you very much. Um, Bernard and Tarantula finally secured my PhD so I can chill and watch you guys again. Have either of you fought Either of you read Twice Dead King books. They're amazing. Never thought Necrons would make me cry and feel so much, ironically. Jimmy came from Mummy Space. Uh, no, I've not oh. read it. Um, TJ, if you need to go, we can um, end, this, end this thing. Because uh, we'll probably be doing this battle for a few minutes. I'm going to look them up. Are they Warhammer books? Or are they other, other fantasy? Sounds. Twice Dead... 
if they're referring to saying how they like Necrons because of them, I, I guess maybe. I just hadn't heard of them, so I assumed maybe that it was based. It was like different metal men who were a bit like Necrons. Uh, but no, they are they are Necron books. I just hadn't heard of them. Oh, but they are by the same guy who wrote the Gansgar book. Oh, very good. Nate Crowley. They did the Infinite and the Divine, right? Is that them? Not sure. I'm gonna look them up. Yeah, we'll we'll sort this stuff out. <clears throat> nice. Thanks, TJ. Uh, no, just Gasgoth Racker, the Twice Dead King books, and then some other not Warhammer books. What? Gross. Lame. <laughs> Who even cares about that? I feel like I recognise their name. Did they used to write for like Rock Paper Shotgun or something? Yes. Nick Crowley. Definitely read some articles by them at some point. Who knows? Let's click on their website and look at stuff they've done. I don't know. Maybe it's got a similar name to someone I'm getting mixed up with. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm still struck. I didn't even finish Infinite and the Divine. Oh, uh, I liked it. I just couldn't. I got stuck at a fight scene that I didn't care about. And was every it, time I went back. Was it early? Yes. Oh, I remember that fight scene because when I was reading that, I was like, why do people fucking rate this book? Yeah. And it's like, then Trezan used his cryogenic consnodulator. <laughs> but then the other guy, he used the flux matrix and did a flip. <laughs> uh, but then, then they pulled out the, the cyber cube of Kr Krushna Trest, and then they're like, oh no! And so they, his staff, it split in two, and then the Unicrons, they came out of it. And that's what that fight yes. was. I was. I've like, tried three times and I can't finish it. Was, it. Should I just skip and go to the next chapter? Just move on through that fight scene. <laughs> right. Because it's fucking lame. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, I, are these are all like cool Necron like artifacts or something that everyone is like, oh, I love mm. that one. That's my favorite. Mm. But to me, it was just like. I always pick the relic I give my Necron Warlord is the Cryo Matrix Re Energizer. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, maybe. Like, could not, could not get into it. But then it gets good after that. Yeah, yeah. Like I promise you, it does genuinely get good. Like you've got like a couple of chapters where it's a bit like eh, um, but then the story actually begins, and you're like, oh, okay, I see what they're see what they're doing, and okay. it becomes a lot more fun. All right, I'll, I'll give it another crack. As soon as I give up on Ravenna. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Just gonna get past that sexy circus part. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're really taking your time on that one. Yeah, you keep you keep coming back to that one for completely different reasons. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, do you want to drop bombs on them before we leave? Free bombs, Tom, and demons. Uh, sure. Why are you guys not fucking running? Thank you to Chrome for donating 10 bucks. It's very generous. And they say, Mini Painters, Tom and Ben. Does this apply to your painting, kids? And then they send us a tweet. Who sends a tweet? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put this in chat. Um, this is from Chrome. Do you think, Tom, you were ever related to this? Time to paint busty goblins. Oh, better get all reliable, and your paintbrush looks like just, 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 just hairs everywhere. Just like your sadness. And the paintbrush says, "Let me die." Yeah, like I've got a couple, couple that are like that. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. The feet. Those are the ones I use to put PVA on the base before I dip them in the sand. Yeah. Love that guy. Or for like if you're if you are doing like a little bit of basing, mm -hmm. like that's my like, oh I don't care if this guy gets fucked up as I dry brush. Um it's just a raggedy piece of shit. I love that moment when you've got yourself a new paintbrush. I don't love painting with the new paintbrush as much as I love kicking out the old shit. Oh, brush. like getting knocked down and, and like, being like, no, <laughs> no, don't make me be the, the shit brush. And then you're like, nearly good brush is now your shit brush. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, that is such an upgrade. It is a great, great feeling. But you still keep hold of shit brush, the one that's further down. But suddenly I get more liberal with how <laughs> badly I mistreat it. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, the, the amount you take care of your brushes like definitely drops. Depending yeah. on how new it is. After ship brushes like bumped down a tier again, when you're like, oh, I want to put some glue on the base. Yeah. But I did just super glue some stuff. I can't be fucked away. And so you put the PVA <laughs> on, and then you're like, oh shit, bits are all stuck together now. I'll just <laughs> rip those off. And oh, ship brush, no. The, like the lifespan <laughs> of what ship brush has been knocked out of that category. Is gets the real dirty job. Yeah, like you are sent to yeah. like that special gulag that like <laughs> you're not doing those twenty years. Your airbrush, cl airbrush cleaning and yeah. stirring duties have started. Maybe I get those non-acrylic paints out. <laughs> oh yeah, just just fuck around. <laughs> oh, who cares if I forgot to clean it properly with thinners? <laughs> oh, th shit brush is going to come back to haunt us. Wow, this went real fucking bad, didn't it? Yeah, it was a mega ambush. It was just ambush of night runners, a billion night runners. But it was those slings. Wow. Just so many slings. They just murdered the artillery immediately. I've never seen Skaven slings be so effective before. God, like, that was brutal. super shooty. So we lost four units of elite blunderbusses. They knew which units to go for, didn't they? And yeah. all the artillery and all the archers. They left all the shield boys alone. Jeez, this was like a fucking hit job. Mm. So Rip, oh god, some of these were unnamed from last week. Oh, that's a sad. All that's of them. Day. All these guys who died, they left the named guys alive. <laughs> Everyone. Oh, okay. Well, they're, you know, kind. Chat. These goblins. They didn't want to hurt any of you. They didn't want to kill any of our lovely donators. The stream vermin. Look at that. Garvoon lives while unnamed hobgoblin archers dies. Okay. Pretty good. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Fucking oof. Right, right. Um, well, now the named the, people die, don't they? Now the named people die. There's, I... Is there any point in even fighting this? I think just when the reinforcements come in, if we had, like, a little bit of shooting... Yeah, they've just purposely yeah. ripped yeah, the they had a plan. heart out. Oh my god, this we, is a real scheme. We got schemed. It's a proper battle rather than an ambush. Yeah, but... Yeah. Shit. Well, fucking rip. Monster's Lair. Lexapi. Uh, Seinenzeit. Krutkin Kaldurian. Nocturnal Shoe. That John Kid. Kakashi Cyan. Boarbound. Gavoon! <laughs> and Magma Cannon. Rip. You fought well. Mm. But helps our money problem. It does help our money. You guys did kill some um, triads, some shades, and some night runners, and a catapult. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Great. I don't know how you managed that one, guys, but good job. Oof, okay, these armies are going to be a pain in the ball. Yeah, endless ambushes. Uh. Oh. We don't well, have arty. We can retreat here because half this army is immobile. I think have a little run. I don't even understand where this battle is. I thought all our armies were together. It's um, the fucking Slayers, Karakadron, up in the north. Yeah, but the army I've sent to them is garrisoned. So I'm confused. Let's retreat. Okay, so now he follows up. Oh. Wait, how does he still get reinforcements from the settlement? How did we fucking run? 
I don't understand what's happening here. But but can we fucking snipe that guy? Oh, no, well, not in 50 not seconds. Not in 50 seconds. We do have five flyers. Try and bum rush him. You've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Oh, shit. They're coming from behind. They go from how, behind. That's how did actually we, better. How did we retreat and still get surrounded? I kind of don't hate them coming from behind. Yeah, because because most of our stuff is just mega melee. That's true. We don't have any artillery. And so being in close... Because okay. I can just keep the inf. Sure, that's where we can walk. <laughs> oh, well, well, the map says it's very clearly immobile, impassable. Fucking weird. Weird-ass maps. Um... With those two veteran units are fancy handgunners. We've never tried them out before. Yeah. Like, they'll probably just hang nearby. Uh, do we just send the bulls off that guy? Yeah. And the and the wolf riders, because they can forward deploy? Sure. Why not? They're not going to be helping in the main line. Uh, all the bulls. If it flies, it tries. Perfect. That's the. If it's got a good saying, <laughs> true. Yeah. Um, and then my flame boys. Uh, yeah. Come back here. God, this is going to be a bit of a rough one. Uh, James has donated again, and says. James. As older players like yourselves, what is up with the current obsession with Grimdark? Warhammer and 40k used to be way more wacky. Yes and no. I think, I think it's always been Grimdark, but it did used to obviously have way sillier stuff in it. Yeah. They have wheedled out the silly stuff and tried to make it a bit more seriously Grimdark. I think they're kind of just like leaning into... Like, it's sort of their IP now that they're known for, for yeah. especially like 40k. Um, and I think for some people, they need it to be more serious to take it seriously. Yeah, because it's you're playing with fucking war barbies at the end of the day. Yeah, and so they're like, no, it's for grown-ups. Look, this guy he murders people and eats them. Oh, he's so bad. It's not for kids. I think that's a big part of it. You know, like the, that... Like Batman vs. Superman film a few years ago. Yeah, exactly. These aren't for children, look. He says, do you bleed? He, yeah, he said, fuck, as well. <laughs> uh. <sighs> yeah, but I did, I think our fond memories do come from the, the blend of grimdark and real goofy. Yeah, like a lot of the, the silliness. Okay, how good are my kudais? No idea. This is the first time we've used them when they haven't been summons. <laughs> Huthor says, Space Wolf players, my dolls fuck. My dolls <laughs> fuck better than your dolls. Your dolls don't fuck, but mine do fuck in the canon. <laughs> if you read the right bit of the canon. Your war barbies are virgins. <laughs> oh, lame. Virgin war barbies. Mine are cool. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love, gotta love a Space Wolf. Oh. <sighs> No one takes it more seriously than them. <laughs> yeah. God bless them. Well, there's a big bull party going on. Bull party. Oh, they're doing a decent job. They're breaking him. Do you think if he breaks, that counts? Yeah, we can end the battle. Boom. Hooray! <laughs> I won! <laughs> it said I was going to lose, but I fucking won. Great victory, Tom. No casualties. With four seconds left. <laughs> I'm the best at games. No fucking casualties. I was supposed to lose. Decisive defeat. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm the best. <laughs> Mordim old frowner. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't handle the bull. Couldn't handle the bull. He was in the middle of the bull party. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I want to be in there because those guys are all pretty fucking horny. <laughs> Close victory. Suck my balls, Hungry Iron Fist. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Great success. Best at games. <laughs> Zero casualties. Victory. Yeah. GG. 
Right, I want to go see what the fuck's going on over there. <laughs> what is happening over there? <laughs> I imagine they're as baffled as... Uh, oh, yeah, I tunneled over the mountains, and then they fucking yumped me while oh, I was okay. tunneling. Oh, okay, because that's why the first battle was a tunnel battle. Yeah, I didn't realize he had like this extra one nerd. I thought I'd be out of range of all these guys. So we can rush them while they're in march mode, but it is a full stack of slayers and an extra backup stack. I think because we don't have any guns... Yeah, this is the monster party. Um, we might need some help. Okay, should we just squash? Also, the I think nerd? in like a fair fight, like we still get kind of busted because they have got a lot of lot of range. I think squash the nerd and just run down and try and take out that gun bad. Boom! Suck it. <laughs> Bull party two. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that guy's butt into one of those those Ooh. things that used to for art insemination with our. <laughs> <laughs> oh, balls. Oh, fuck, that's dark. It's grimdark, then. We've got to make it more grimdark. Because the Chaos Dwarf's a little bit silly, but that guy is going to do demon magic and Jeez. keep him alive while it's going You're on the, as well. The bull semen extraction. Yep, that's, what he's, that's what's happening to him now. <laughs> Jeez. What's going on? Okay, well, we got um, defeated under my Iron Fist, technically. <laughs> well, jeez. <laughs> we, we beat up his friend. He was there. <laughs> but he wasn't there. He didn't turn up. <laughs> wow. He saw, saw what we did, and he didn't stop us. Uh, Splamo. Kill the garrison. Like Going to a house party <laughs> and like beating up Mike Tyson's puny friend with all of your mates <laughs> leaving. No, no, Mike Tyson's at the house party, but you've like locked the door. <laughs> okay, he's in a different room. I feel like he just hasn't arrived to the party yet. We fucking run, <laughs> yeah. and Mike Tyson with his giant entourage turns up, and they're like, "What happened to Jeff?" <laughs> yeah. Who the and fuck we is just Tom and Ben? You lose! You lose! As We're we, the best! As we drive off. Yeah, and then <laughs> we could all claim that we beat up Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, I think wow. that sounds like we did. <laughs> sure. That's how I understand that story. Okay. Wow. Wow, there we go. We've got the gold mine back. Sweet. Uh, oh, we can confederate again next turn. Wow. Ooh, really? How much is it? 600? Uh, how do I do this again? Scroll up. Oh, yes, yeah, brilliant. Well, maybe we should save that. We've, do we still? Do you want to check the armies? Do you want to do some naming? Because we're going to have to end soon. Yes. Okay, we've got some boys to name in this army for sure. Uh, uh, bull centaurs. Bull centaurs. That can be James. You are in. More. Uh, that could be Chrome. Wolf Riders. Uh, is Anson Hacks. Go around. More. Uh, heroically average. You're in. Uh, I can't type. That's fine. Oh, I still can't type. Average. Average. Uh, is K Short. Welcome. Bull party number one. Prism boss. <laughs> um, do I have my prison? Oh, That's goodness. fine. He's the prism. Prism. <laughs> the prism bull. Uh, Lieutenant King. Great. Uh, then a butt hoofer. Yay. I'm sad we didn't have a butt hoofer. Oh no, a sex wedge. <laughs> oh god. It's my turn on the dwarf! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and then there's Setsuo. Oh, they, they've already got a butt hoofer. Oh. Okay, we've got two now. Uh, this is Setsuo. You're a fire and demon. ADD ape. Perfect, right. That army is locked in. Uh, this army's done. They're all good. That army's done. That army's done. That army's done. Uh, this army needs some naming. I think that's even an AI commander's name. Okay. This could be lightsaber expert Zeta. Because they gave us very, very good advice. They did.
Okay, Cast Wolf Warriors. A Zandra Britain. Welcome aboard. And then Sir the Death. He's a sneaky gobbo. Oh, he's a sneaky stab boy. Welcome, uh, Sero. More motor. You are in. Uh, this could be Tallahassee. Oh, yeehaw. Remember, it's like you. Uh, and then Half Blood. And. Crypt Kink. And Leo gone. And Xenon. Uh, and an Inspector Space Time. Got in. Uh, and then we've got a another butt hoofer and another James. They can both be in here. But two for two. I mean, they're only wolf boys, so good luck. Ah, uh, they kind of sometimes do okay. Fire demons. Uh, they can be black sheep. Okay, death train. I oh, know we got that. Magma cannons. Is macho deputy. Uh, and Malador, 888. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Great. Uh, so we just got uh, more or two last messages to read out. This is one from Drail. Thank you, Drail. Thank you, 20 bucks. Ooh, kind. Thank you. They say, greetings, Ben Folds and Tommy Tutone. Uh, just another vodka boy crawling out of the pile to throw some filthy money at my favorite streamers. Uh, special thanks to Tom for noticing and liking my YouTube comment about Ben's cynical horse idea. Crablo ab astris. Is that a Latin? Yeah, um, space. Astris is space. Uh, you're so welcome, Drell. I'm glad mm. you made that comment. That was a fun comment. I enjoyed it. Uh... Because if you scroll down through that list, you'll see how many people are explaining to me that the game is already like horse <laughs> and that it's not working like horse. Tom, did you know this game is already like horse? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, that was great. Oh. But thank you, Jarrell. Um, and then Malador uh, donates as well. Thank you, Malador. They say Tomato and Denethor. Oh, Shot. I don't want to be him. He's the worst one. Yeah, but it's better than being the tomato in that scene. <laughs> <laughs> Me dribbling down your chin. <laughs> Gross. Wow. New Space Boat King here. I Ooh. just finished uh, Flight of the Einstein. Ooh, Eisenstein. The Eisenstein. Yeah, that's cool. And wondered which Horus Heresy book I mm. should go to next. Right. Uh, should it be Fulgrim? Or Descent of Angels, or follow that mad flowchart. Thanks for the stream. Mm. Ah. Um, I wouldn't recommend Descent of Angels unless you really want some fucking Dark Angel backstory, because that entire book takes place before the Great Crusade even starts, and it is only f it's got literally zero impact on the Horus Heresy. Um, but if you want some Space Knights, and you want to know a bit about what what Dark Angels are up to hundreds of years before. Sure. Um, Fulgrim's all right. It's part of the timeline you're currently on. Um, but really, as always, when in doubt, consult the flowchart. Consult the flowchart. Because that it's will answer all your questions. The only way to be sure. <laughs> it's the pure madness of that. Um. And definitely do some Googling, because I'd say at least half of the Horus Heresy books are bad. Um, Ooh. So, Ooh. you know, just just do a little goog about the ones that are definitely shit and you should skip and just avoid those. Goog. Have a give yourself a goog, um, and don't read Battle for the Abyss, which is next up. Uh, pal, well, it's going to be a good time for us to be wrapping up. Um, yeah. 
I think so. I think we've had a good time, haven't we? We fought some dwarves. Fought some dwarves. We killed some dwarves. We technically won. Technically won. <laughs> the best technicality. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we lost some lost some Skaven. We have. We've got some more armies turning up, but I got a real bad feeling about this Skaven. Yeah, right. God, the endless ambushes. Do you want to just t tell all of our allies just to go and fucking attack Eshin? Just barrel as <laughs> many ally like armies in there as possible because they can't ambush yeah. them all. Okay. Um, war coordination. Um, so these guys attack um, there. Oh, you're not allowed to tell oh, them. Can you not do it because Skaven suck? All right, oh. fuck it. Uh, well, thank you so much to everyone who watched us. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Um, lots of love to the YouTube commenters. Yeah. We liked your one about the clapping. Thought it was very funny. I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, and thank you to everyone who's donated, everyone who's taken part. Uh, lots of love for everyone in chat. Mm -hmm. for, you know, just chatting away with us with this madness. Um, and we will see you guys very soon. Yeah. Catch you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bonk. <laughs>